Whoops. Best part of the run right here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, three, two, one, go. Woo. Well, this will be fun. Um. Yeah, so this is a category I made up like about a year and a half ago, like right like a month after the game came out. Because I was like, okay, I kind of want a completionist-ish category. Something that shows showcases everything this game has to offer. But like, obviously, due to the nature of how there's like four different routes, you can lots tons of mutual fixes for content. That's not really feasible with a single playthrough. So I kind of made up this category, all chapters, where the goal is off of a new Switch profile, uh, off of a single file chain. Um, I have to beat every unique chapter at least once in the run. So every route has at least one unique chapter, so I have to beat all four routes, and I have to beat every paralog once. Um, auxiliary battles and um, quest battles do not count because they do not show up on the results screen, if I remember correctly. And that's basically it. Stay focused. <laughs> gonna be starting with Azure Moon. The route order is gonna be Azure Moon, Verdant Wind, Crimson Flower, and Silver Snow last. So, Azure Moon first for multiple reasons, and we'll get into that later. Whee! Let's hope that we don't get a Strength Screwed Violet again. <laughs> Because last run, we had two really bad strength screwed violets. One mediocre one, and one just average one. So, yeah, not fantastic. Okay, I mean, that's a good level. Why did Violet get an extra level up there? I started this off a new Switch ball, ball right? I don't know why Bai's got a second level up. She shouldn't have. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, that's weird. I... Did I somehow like glitch <laughs> to Saint statues or something? <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh my god. If that's the case, then that would be hilarious, but this shouldn't be the case. I mean, I literally closed the game and started a new Switch profile. So, I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Huh. And the first of many loads. This is one of the longest ones in the game. So, if I were to take a bathroom break, it will be during this load. Okay, now we're turning this into a golden eye speedrun. <coughs> Gotta reduce game lag. Cause game is unopti unoptimized AF. Very laggy. Very, very laggy. Which is unfortunate. Oh, we didn't get Dord this time, so hooray. So, have to talk to all three lords. I'm really excited to do this four times in the same run through. So that's gonna be exciting. I hear you're investing. I appreciate your effort. Okay. How are you? I'm the percent. So you. You're. No! I. Look, we will. I'm still confused as to why Violet got a second level up there. Because that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> I mean, she gets a second level up if she like got, gets a lucky crit on enemy phase, but that wasn't the case. She all the thieves on in the prologue were left alive, so eh. we'll see, I guess. No, well, definitely not New Game Plus. I definitely didn't like somehow inject at least being able to buy New Game Plus stuff. So, as this is his claim. Yeah, I have a request. Okay. 
mandatory quest stuff. Except to do in Sylvain's quest, because they give us renown, which you want, and also some dining materials, Professor, dining ingredients. Professor, I've got a want, small favorite. We want to build up some supports with some units. Hooray. My thanks. Thanks for the tomatoes. I'm trying to use the bow with Violet as much as possible, because I want to start training her bow rank so she can certify as an archer later. I... F for Ferdinand von Iron. Okay, Felix did not level up, which is good. I don't want him to level up. That's the last kill he's going to get. Level ups cost time on units you don't care about. Poke. Kakuro. Kakuro. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself again? Uh, well, good luck to me. Good luck to me, I guess, on this and surviving. Okay. We're off to a fantastic start. Zero strength out of three levels so far. Zero strength out of three levels. But yeah, thanks. Thanks for the good luck. Unfortunately, the king things already aren't looking very good, but <laughs> we'll see. You are If I don't get at least two strength from this auxiliary battle, I'm actually gonna reset. Because that's just a bit much. <laughs> and yeah. Zero out of three strength is oof so far. Um, which, by the way, it's a 45% chance to gain strength, so. Not super unrealistic to get zero out of three, but still not a good look. Lag, 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 game of all. Okay, not really, but this is probably the laggiest Switch game that exists, honestly. Not even exaggerating. Thanks for your help. Okay, hardest menu in the game coming up, fighting the lag. Because there's going to be a lot of eaten inputs if I'm not super careful here. Riding, flying, authority, flying, faith authority. There was an eaten input right there. Okay. Um, who are we getting? Okay. Dimitri's the fastest student to get there, actually. Um, in the standard Azure Moon route, 
if getting Mercedes as your electric question is over is almost a 20 second time loss compared to Dimitri because one, that's an extra electric question, and two, she takes longer to load because good video game. And I'm not joking, it's almost 20 second, almost a 20 second time loss between Dimitri and Mercedes. Mercedes is the worst case. For whatever reason. Because <laughs> this is a well optimized game. Okay. Okay, um, everyone but Dimitri for everything. Welcome, Iron Gauntlets, Mini Bow, Training Lance, Javelin, Dakota Sword and Training Bow. Stay focused. And a vulnerary, equip the sword. Start training my sword rank up. Don't crit. Thank you. Okay. There's, there's our first strength level. Hooray. There's our first strength level. There, we're still only at one out of four strength. One out of five strength. Uh. Hey, Dark Zero. How's it going? All right. One out of five strength. One out of six strength. Two out of six strength. Okay. One below average right now. We're in okay shape. Not fantastic, but okay shape. Okay, well that wasn't exactly a great level. Two out of eight, probably. Three out of eight. Okay. She's caught up a bit. This is accept. This is acceptable strength. If she gained less than two, one or zero, then I would have reset. Which would suck, because I don't want to reset a seven and a half hour run and go through ten minutes of loading screens again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> do do do. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now I want to do Certified Violet as a Myrmidon class. Primarily for extra sword rank. That's really it. Because you get plus one sword rank per round of combat. Hanuman, get some bow rank. Wait, we want sea swords, because that lets us Certify as a Thief class with a 100% success rate. So yeah, at the end of this map, I want to hit C swords and E plus bows. That's that. That's what I would ideally hit. We'll see if we do. Okay. Stay focused. I'll cut through. Oh, Agnes. This turn. Get some strength, please. Thank you. Um, let me get a new one out. And start running away. I don't know if I hit C swords yet. I don't think I have. I did not hit C swords. Okay. Um, close though. more round of combat with the bow, we should be good. Be mindful. Uh, sword, vulnerary. Okay, we're actually in pretty Stay good focused. shape, because I can get another round of combat with the bow here. 
and also kill the two other enemies on the left. With two rounds of combo with the bow, so that's good. That level up was not so good. Falcon Punch! Okay. So now, now that we hit Sea Swords and we hit level 11, I think, we can certify as an intermediate class. Um, an intermediate class has, the inter intermediate classes in this game are really good in that they give really good mastery skills. Um, for now, I'm going to become a thief, primarily because I want the plus one movement. And the unrestricted force movement, I mean, you usually lose one move when you go through a force, but thieves don't. And thieves also give plus one bow experience per round of combat with bow, which we want. So, again, focusing on bow rank whenever we can. Okay, warp to both strength forces. So here's a quest that's mandatory, and we're going to go ahead and purchase our first battalion out of many. Probably the most broken one in the game coming up. Because three houses. E rank battalion with stride plus five movements for whatever reason. Yep. Okay. What do you require? So there's only monks. Thank you. So I can end the day right here, but I have a few few more quests I want to take care of for both renown and king ingredients or dining ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this quest from Mercedes for Albanian berries, and use it, also use this as an excuse to unlock the cathedral as a warp point. Thanks for blocking me! Wow! Hey, you! <laughs> Load. Okay. Okay. Oh, Bernie! Sad F. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, um, pond. <laughs> Dining hall. Lag, lag, lag. Okay. Uh, Super One Trio, Lysithia and Marianne. So we want to get a C support with Lysithia and Marianne by the end of this playthrough. So since it's week two, week we we just got plus sixty support points with both nice. of them. I knew I could count on you. And also clear Sylvain's quest for more renowned ingredients. Um, and you need one hundred support points to hit C support for someone. So we're already over halfway there. Flask for another quest, and then we go here for another quest. Would you be so kind and get some flying rank. The only way for Bias to get flying rank Thank you, Professor. early on is from faculty training, so we have to do that if we want her to become a flyer eventually. <laughs> Middle. I. I. Okay, and now we're just gonna spam seminars. Practice a deep end. Get more bow rank. Uh, two seminars with Hanuman to get more bow rank. Each Hanuman isn't super efficient for bow rank because his bow rank isn't very high to begin with, so we only get 20 experience. I think it's 20. We're gonna do it twi twice with him, and then one seminar with Seth to get more lance rank and authority. Because again, we also want Sea Lances eventually to become a Pegasus Knight. And by doing a seminar here, we also skipped a glitch where we miss out an entire week of instructs. Because if we skip straight to the mon to a Monday mission, then we miss out on the last week of instructs because game. So if we didn't stop stop on the 29th, then the entire week of the 23rd will be skipped as if it never happened. So a lot of people will miss out on an entire week of instructs, which is a lot of experience. So yeah. <laughs> I 
we need to chat with the dev team to ask what they were thinking with Stride. <laughs> I, I'm, you, you probably weren't, weren't putting much thought into a lot of stuff in this game, honestly. Like, there's, you can literally see, like, Dark Mage only grammar used to black, black magic range plus one for whatever reason. Why? Don't ask me. And a lot of really weird shenanigans like that. So. Stay focused. It's three houses. And again, dark magic and black ma magic are different. That's why not. Ha we have to kill this mage in order to respond to boss. Plus Lance, that's our goal. Yay, 18 strength. So eight, 18 strength is the threshold we need to hit by chapter 5 in order for a strat to work out without having to rely on a, t on a crit. Okay, this is a little bit of a concern. Maybe dodge? Oh, we're, we're not dead. <laughs> we're not dead yet. <laughs> I don't think our defense is very good, if I, if I remember correctly. Nine. Okay, that's that's like one below average, so it's not bad. We just got hit like all the time. All over the place. Catherine, come help us! Yay! Healing. Alright, and now we just take on the boss and do like no damage. Because our strength is still pretty mediocre, honestly. Despite that. There we go. Depots, cool. We the threshold we want to hit is four experience from Debo, so if we already hit Debo's and we're a little bit ahead on our bow experience, which is good. <clears throat> I don't mind a magic split between black and dark magic as long as it's like done in a thoughtful way. Which it isn't. <laughs> Very much not. <laughs> Yay! Dark magic specialist for males only. Hubert. And LOL Yuritsa, and that's it. When we have three three and a half female units with that can only use dark magic. <laughs> Game design. Okay, so on this weekend, we are forced to either explore or skip, and we kind of don't want, we want to do a seminar so we can, but we can't do a seminar here because we're forced to explore or skip for whatever reason, because video game. So we're going to use this as an excuse to do a quick faculty training with Shamir, because she's Bay. Get some bow rank. Oh, I didn't get lucky. Dining hall. Well, what's... I have a request. Okay. Lance rank. Thanks for your help. Yeah, I mean, I've said the, I've said this opinion before. I really don't mind well, gender lock classes as a concept, as long as it's like done in a, again, done in a kind of a th thoughtful manner. Because I, to me, I don't, I see it as not really any different from things like lord specific classes. It's just a way to distinguish characters more from each it's other gameplay wise. <laughs> but again, this game doesn't do a very good job of that. <laughs> And what's, what's even more stupid is that War Master class is male only, but there is a fem enemy female, a green female War Master, and I think, um, one of the Deirdre chap chapters, I think in Azure Moon, actually. So, basic, it's three houses. <laughs> There's literally a green female War Master in a chapter, and you just can't do that because they were smoking something. <laughs> I don't remember if it was specifically Hilda's replacement or not, but the fact that there's a female and non-controllable female War Master is kind of a massive slap in the face, regardless. And basically a huge fuck you. And the DLC classes. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> on why the gender, but why the female the DLC classes being gender locked and their design is pretty terrible. <laughs> this guy has got really shafted with that. Really badly shafted. Okay. Keep only Dimitri. Hey, I'm already at D plus both. I don't really paying attention. I'll cut through. Stay focused. We are we already are, so I actually could have gone for an archer certification earlier, but I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, Gambit. 
Get some strength. There we go. 6 out of 13. That's just about average. Okay, training lance. Now well, we want to try to hit D plus lances. I mean, C lances, actually. Because that's our goal. Be mindful. Not die, hopefully. Yeah. So we're in decent shape, honestly. I didn't save, did I? I did not save. <laughs> I forgot to save. Okay, well, we're YOLOing the Archer certification then. We have, I think, three chances at it. <laughs> and if it fails, then we, that's probably GG. <laughs> uh, four chances, actually. Four chances. Okay, we have four chances at a si roughly 65% chance. I so, have... roughly two thirds chance of succeeding the Archer certification. And we have four chances of it. Sixty-six. Okay, come on. Okay, first try. Sweet. Awesome. I have a question. It seems I've got. I'm really getting. Okay. Um, seminar with Sedith. Six, four times 65% equals 260% chance. You can't lose. Yeah, I see nothing wrong with that logic. <laughs> I see absolutely nothing wrong with that logic. Okay, and that's, uh, rallies, and then you, sword combat arts, tempest lance. Okay. Let's save it all, so let's save. I also didn't split. Oops. Again. I, thought it, I apparently didn't split in Chapter 4 in my previous run, and I didn't do it again. <laughs> Good job. <coughs> oh yeah, my battalion broke, so the game's going to automatically prompt me to replenish them, which is good. That saves a little bit of time. Okay. And you're about to see why I made kind of a big deal about becoming an archer at this point. So, one of the fastest ways to clear this chapter is to warp skip it, but... Obviously, we don't have a warp user, and we just pretty much can't have anyone realistically learn warp at this point besides, like, Sophia, who we can't really recruit in a reasonably fast manner. So the alternative is to skip half the map instead of the entire map. Um, and archers have a skill called bow range plus one, which, which is self-explanatory, I think. You can get plus one bow range. And Curve Shot is a combat art that is plus one range as well. So we're going to use a combat art that has four range. And that can barely reach the boss from this tile coming up here. Um, I need to also get a Steel Bow out. And another Vulnerary. Um, and this is why we need 18 Strength. Because if we have less than 18 Strength, we can't actually out-damage the he self-healing of the boss. Because he heals 12 HP per, 12 HP per turn. And we're, we're, we didn't kill him, we're getting attacked a lot, but that's actually not a bad thing, because every time we get attacked, we get one Archer experience, and we want to master Archer class eventually, so... Boop. And chapter skipped. We're half of it. So... Uh, I think I'm just gonna heal. Play it safe. Get some strength, please. We're at 6 out of 16 strength. 7 out of 16 strength. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go heal again. The nice thing about the oh my god, what is our defense? I actually haven't paid attention to my defense stat. Okay, this hits this badly. Goodness. 
Stay focused. Um, I can curve shot you and not take the counter. That works. One health bar down. Uh, oh, I do double to steal that. Okay, cool. 11 defense. Oh, that's actually not bad. Even better. Right now the enemies have come. Um, top and punch. Barely. Okay. <laughs> that could have gone way better, but I was I just took way too many hits already. And the boss just hits you really hard, and I just got hit every single time. So it is what it is. Like even if you get defense blast, you're gonna take like 15 to 20 damage per hit. So Alright, so if you have Sylvain in your party, you can choose to not give the Lance of Ruin back to Rhea, and we're not gonna give it back to her. Because the Lance of Ruin is a really good weapon. It's a E rank weapon with 22 freaking might. Yes. <laughs> and also the game literally the game literally lies to you about crest um holy relics. Um anyone can use any crest weapon, even if they don't have a crest. Because this game is, has very good story gameplay integration. And by that what I mean by that is it's terrible. Um so like if a use if a unit uses an E rank holy relic without a, and they don't have a crest, they can still use it perfectly fine. They will take 10 damage per round of combat, but they can still use the, use the Relic. If they have any crest at all, they won't take the 10 damage, and if they have the matching crest, then they get the secondary effect and or the combat art of the Relic. The game does not explain this to you at all. It just pretty much tells you, oh, units without a crest can't use these weapons. And in other words, the game is literally lying to you. Because <laughs> good video game. Doesn't really matter in this case, because we're just, just going to be spamming Byleth. But yeah, the Lancer Ruin is really good. We're going to be using it quite a bit throughout this run because it's like an almost free 22 might weapon. Let me yeah. Yeah. Ah, or a wrong option. I'm supposed to pick bottom. The legendary crest weapon, sacrificial knife. <laughs> Each new okay, I'm going to be doing some goal swapping. Uh, riding, and that is authority only. Thanks, uh, thanks for the compliment on the layout. Um, my friend Oro made it a while ago, so I've been using that, and he does a really good job with his layouts. I can assist with We're gonna recruit Shimmy because she's really awesome, and she's gonna be used in literally every round because she's just a very good unit overall. They can get really early. And we're gonna do some, have some dining parties. Sweet Fun Trio, uh, Lysithia Marianne. And this is gonna be plus 60 support points again because this is the Alliance Celebration. So you get double support points. You normally get 30 with dining the two units at both like the meal. It's gonna be plus 60, and now they're both at C support together. And we're gonna dine again um, with Annette and Gilbert, because they need a C support in part two to unlock their paralog. And dining with them once is pretty much just enough to bump them up to a C support after a few battles in part two together. So we don't really need to do anything else there. Okay, support. Yeah, pretty much. Like this game does a really good job of like story-wise telling, sh showing, showing you like how dangerous it is to use a holy relic without a crest. It's just that that's not reflected in the gameplay at all. Period. So, oof. <clears throat> kind of similar to like yeah, what you mentioned with Metro Prime Three Corruption. The game nailing is nailing it in the head, delivering the intended danger of a mechanic hyper mode. It actually not being that dangerous in the gameplay perspective because it's really easy to abuse. <laughs> okay. Just save just in case something bad happens. Okay, um, we have a sniper, plus one bow range. To work. Here goes. I'm good now. Don't crit me. Thank you. Stay focused. Okay. And we're gonna farm some a bit of archer experience by just having Bath get attacked five times. Because <laughs> that is an actual strat. Thanks. Uh, training Lance. And the reason I sent Annette to Faith for up, to, up to this point is so she learns um, Recover, which is a very underrated spell in my opinion. Appreciate it. 
Well, we got 18% credit, unfortunately, but that's okay. We can burn some RNs with Violet here. Very good level. Try it again. Okay, good. This will... And... Poke. Of course, giving the kill to Violet if we, whenever we can. That went pretty well. One Divine Pulse, but that's not too big of a deal. And I hope you were excited to see this unskippable cutscene once again. Four times. Yes. Bottom option every time is faster. So, you, one might argue that it's, it's good that that cutscene is unskippable because you're technically recruiting Flame, but that's bullshit because you get you get Sedith, Cyril, Catherine some rounds, and Gilbert for free without a cutscene at all, period. And it's not like you even have a choice of, of accepting them or not on your party. So, like, there's no reason for that to be unskippable. Welcome to Three Houses. <laughs> And Lysithia? Yeah. Okay, so we're not recruiting Lysithia, of course, but we want her to eventually hit a B support so we can recruit her out of house in Crimson Flower and Silver Snow. But it costs too much time to try to get her all the way up to B rank in this playthrough alone because we need 100 support points to hit C and then plus 200 on top of that to hit B. Um, so I'm just I'm aiming to just get her up to C in this playthrough and then buy it with Renown and New Game Plus from second playthrough, which is Verdant Wind, and then get her up to B from there. Because we get, we, you basically get free gifts from Geralt every time you do that mission, um, the Lost, Lost and Found mission. So I'm really getting. It's kind of good to. I'm finding. Split. It's kind of good to spread that out. The glory is well worth. Okay. Sylvain, Storal, and that's plain Storal. Okay, um, whoops. Byleth, uh, Authority, you, you, Lance, close counter. I thought it was unskippable due to being another hint at Flame instead of being Nabataeans, even if it was really up to delivery. I mean, I guess, but there's a lot of other cutscenes that imply that, that are skippable. <laughs> so, there's not, that's not really a good excuse. My point is that it's very inconsistent. There's no reason for that to be unskippable, given the behavior of a lot of other cutscenes in this game. Okay, uh, we're gonna keep only Annette. Well. All right, let's do this. Chapter seven time. We're gonna do this chapter four times, and it's. Very random. Every time. I'll cut through. Here goes. Well done. Yeah. Stay okay. focused. Um, train lands. I have a 22 might weapon in the face for a minute, Bon Iyer. Yeah, a lot of that group of Pegasus Knights target prioritized Violet, so they're not actually attacking the net for whatever reason. Why? I don't know. Oof. Um, let's do this then. Here goes. Stay focused. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's not that's not gonna kill. Okay, well. Boop. Um, you through. pack off. Um, you go here. I want to 
uses up so many answer for uses already. Rally. I like to call Marianne the MVP of this map because she like she's fine. You're waiting. You're watching the Golden Deer fight the um Black Eagles, and the Black Eagles has a lot of magic base use, and Marianne just like tanks all of them. <laughs> so like she just kind of solos it, solos a lot of it by herself. It's pretty funny. Much needed. And of course, Petra's not moving. Um. Do that. Have Petra go after Marianne. So Petra's aggroed. Very good level. Um. See if Marianne goes after Violet. Do 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 Oh look, a bunch of one two three range archers that you can't counterattack unless I'm an archer. Ha! Huh. And they all die. All right. Thank you. I missed. Uh, training lance. I didn't use the lance as much as I should have, so I don't know if I, how behind I am on my lance rank right now, but we'll see. <clears throat> do, do, do. Ba, ba, I <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, um, so we just finished Chapter 7, and a bunch of paralogs just opened up. Um, so I'm going to be doing my first paralog with a run. And of course, if you know the game, you can kind of tell it's just going to be Sotha's paralog immediately, because we want the Knowledge Gem from there as soon as possible. And the Knowledge Gem boosts how much skill experience you get on your like skills during combat. Which is huge. It means more lance and bow experience, it means more archer experience, and eventually Pex with my experience, because we want to master both of those classes by the end of this playthrough. So 23rd. Okay, uh, bow and model leader, and that's it. Yeah, okay. I'm not really going to be using a bow much anymore. I'll, I still want to hit C plus bows, but I'm not going to be really prioritizing it much anymore. Even though I'm an archer. Okay, and I forgot plane. Take the chest key. Kills the red canyon. What is the difficulty? Not hard or maddening, because the goal is to go fast. Talents just became available too, so we're gonna go ahead and update some. And also buy one of the most broken blue line battalions ever. I'll cut through. I'm so let us away. Get some lettuce. Okay, so this is a defeat boss map, and this is the boss here. If you attack that boss at three range, for whatever reason, it's not aggro, the birds around it won't at attack you, and you can just keep chipping away at three range. Why? Don't ask me! And guess what? This exploit also works in maddening mode, just FYI. This they, like, must have spaghetti some sort of AI code with that or something, I don't know. 
Um, um, okay, that might be an issue, but whatever. As long as he doesn't die. Yeah, I'm gonna want to equip a different bow, I guess. Uh, you go away, you go away. Iron bow. So yeah, we're just gonna camp here with Shamir and keep poking at your range. So yeah, you can do this exploit on Maddening, no. and it works exactly the same way. Although, you do need to have Warp or Pass. Because there is another monster blocking your way there. So you need to have Warp or Pass to get to the boss. But then once you do, you can just keep chipping away at the range. Okay. No. Strength. You never let me down. <laughs> and that's one down. 22 to go. <laughs> 22 parallax to go. Okay. Divine Pulse maximum increased? Hopefully we won't need those. Hopefully. Um, okay, before I forget, get this now. Okay, congratulations! I didn't forget the knowledge gem. Congratulations! Because <laughs> I almost, like, I forget that in practice half the time, and it's terrible if you forget it. Okay. Okay, he select everyone. I'll cut through. Stay focused. Bam, 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 bam. Do, 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 do. After their first playthrough, yes, same file chain, but only with like what I've done in that play file chain. So I can't like just suddenly buy like death blow and stuff quick repose for everyone. Okay. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I also didn't pay attention to how much Archer experience I have left. Um, I hope it's... I think I'm probably fine, because I know that I engage with a bunch of extra enemies in Chapter 5 more often than usual. So I'm probably fine. I shouldn't have to check. Fingers crossed. No, it is not included. It is not included. Might eventually route it with the P8 DLC, but that's gonna be another a story for another time. Okay. Also, New Game Plus doesn't really have much to do with DLC. They're kind of separate things. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, a lag. May I ask you? Alright, this is the month where we get to pick a dancer, and this is the only playthrough where we're gonna get a real dancer. Because other it's otherwise it just costs too much time. Dang it. We're gonna recruit Manuela because she is the most available, easily accessible warp user in Blue Lions, because Blue Lions is the only house that doesn't have a student with warp. I s Axe, armor, um, faith, flying. Um, I would have to do Cinder Shadows at the start. 
the talent's gonna make grinding as an archer much easier, and, um... And I would have to do three more paralogs. Anna's paralog and also the Ashen Wolves paralogs. You have helped me so much. Needs this one. Okay, we're this doing one. this primarily for EXP plus five and class experience plus one. EXP plus five is like just enough to make early game a lot more reliable because it bumps up by into getting like two or three extra levels in early game just to make things more reliable. But you don't really want too much experience because more level ups means time loss. But more importantly, we just got classy classy XP plus one, which is which if you're playing this game casually, that is the number one thing you should always gun for because that is like the most important thing to buy by far. Deep the class power. masteries are where you get the best skills in the game, especially from the intermediate classes. Okay, more Lance and Bow rank. Thank you, Shamir. So yeah, Shamir is really good for um, seminars because she gives both Lance and Bow rank, which is exactly what we want. <clears throat> okay. And Hilda, Hilda. Fun fact, it is impossible for Flame to fail the Nancy competition. But I think there is, ac I don't really know if there's actual dialogue for that. <clears throat> I don't remember if there is. I, there has to be, I feel like. It's just like impossible without hacking or data mining. Um, remove Sword, um, Manuela, remove Italian, Flame, Dancer. I am oh, tea Leaves, uh, Shamir. Each new ex well, no, it's always a dancing competition in every route. <clears throat> and we sell tea leaves not because we want money, but because um, in part two, if you have any tea leaves at all, even if you've never done the quest, every time someone's birthday comes up, you'll get a really slow menu asking you if you want to buy birthday flowers or do a tea party. And that menu is costs like over a second every time it happens, which is really bad. And also makes menuing really annoying. If you don't have um if you don't have any tea leaves then you'll get the really fast do you want to buy birthday flowers menu and that's it and you can just mash b and it's also just much faster because you don't have to wait for a menu to scroll up into the screen so you pretty much always want to sell all your tea leaves because birthdays are slow in a speed run now flyers are pretty flyers is another example of that of developers well not developers but Development of this game not ha having much thought to put into it in terms of balance and stuff. <laughs> Just to be a little nice. Okay. I'll cut through. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's right. I'm on it. Attribution up. Well done. To work. Oh, yeah, we got um, Kingdom Archers, which is a D rank battalion, only available on Blue Lines route. Stay focused. That gives retribution, one of the most useful gambits in the game. What does it do? Um, it allows you to counterattack everything for the next five turns, no matter what weapon you have equipped. Oh. Assuming you have something. Let us away. It's Thank pretty you. broken. So Bio can counterattack everything with the Lance of Ruin right now, in enemy face. And we're gonna try to master the Archer class. We're really close, so we'll master the Archer class at the end of this map. And get probably the best skill in the game, in my opinion, like no contest. I don't think there's really much competition. Hit plus 20. Way too important. Much um, is prudent. Okay. So I'm just using Ward to train up um, Manuel's Faith rank a bit. She, without using Faith magic in mid-battle, she falls just a bit short of learning Ward by chapter 11. Just a bit short. short. So we want to like use have her attack with Nosferatu or use Ward here and there. And perfect. Sea Lances. We've hit all the thresholds we want to hit. Perfect. Okay, save. Save. Okay. 
Remember to save, just in case. Because... Now that we're at Sea Lance... Okay, so the certification requirements for the Pegasus Knight are Sea Lance's D-Flying. D-Flying takes too much time to get to, because um, that requires a, m a minimum of three more faculty trainings, which is a lot of time loss. So we're settling for Sea Lance's and E-Plus Flying, which is one short of the... Min of the 100% requirements, meaning our certification um, pass rate is going to be roughly in the mid to high 60s. Depends on our luck stat too, because every two points of luck gives you a plus 1% certification pass bonus. So if, our, if we're lucky, like if our Bylas is luck blessed, then she might have like over 70%, but I haven't really paid attention to her luck stat. So. What else? All right, we have three chances of this, I think. 71, okay. Yeah. First try, sweet. All right, awesome. And you could hit plus 20, it's equipped. Okay, good. Awesome. Professor. Yeah, we first tried both certifications this run, which is really nice. All right, we're gonna do our second paralog. And as usual, unskippable paralog cutscenes. Yeah. When did these sort? This is really annoying, but it kind of makes sense that they're unskippable, just because you have an actual dialogue option at the end that matters. But it's still very annoying. Okay. All right, so this is a defeat boss map, and we have a flyer now with Stride and a Danzo, so we can just one turn this if we want to. But we also want to train up our Pegasus Knight class experience, and this is one of the best maps to do it, conveniently, without really any real time loss. Do we want any other skills? Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Here goes. Well done. Let's take them out. I'll cut through. Thanks. Stay focused. Uh, training lands. Poke. Let us away. So we're gonna get roughly 28 Pegasus Knight experience just from this alone. Because we're gonna kill five more red units right here, and the boss, and we're getting four um, class experience per turn, I mean per round of combat, because of our class experience plus one and the knowledge gem. Every. Alright, there we go. So take just a few extra seconds to take an extra turn for roughly over 20 class experience and then the end the map. We are great. Can male battles perform similar to, similarly to female battles as Wyvern Rider? Yeah, you can. It'll be a little bit harder just because. Um, for males, there are, they, males have no access to any flying classes until, well, advanced. So meaning they don't have a way to gain flying experience before level 20, except outside of faculty trainings and goals. In Violet's case, only faculty training. But, okay, again, you still almost want, always want to go Wyvern if you want to be optimal, because Wyverns are stupid in this game. We're not going to go Wyvern at all in this run, because like we already had to train up our Lance rank. It's way too much of a hassle to train up our Axe rank on top of that to become a Wyvern when we have... It, and it's, yeah, it's too much of a hassle. <laughs> and again, we also want to avoid certifying as extra classes if we can help it, because it costs time. So... I mean, it would still it would be roughly the same effect in this. It's just a little bit more annoying to get to. I'll cut but once you're there, it's pretty much the same idea. Here goes. Thank you. Stay focused. Okay. Um, you. Let us away. Get some lettuce. Much needed. Lettuce attack. Uh, have a lance of ruin in the face. Plus twenty hits. Get some strength, please. There we go. <laughs> Hi. 
Oh. Okay. And now that we have Pegasus Knight Violet, we're gonna do two more quick paralogs. Get them out of the way. We're gonna be doing Dedu's Paralog in, in this route because Dedu's Paralog is only available in Part 1 Azure Moon. And also gonna do Oil and Water, which is Hanuman and Manuelas. And we wanna do that now as well because we don't wanna recruit them in other routes since it's just recruiting units costs time. You wanna avoid it if you can. And we have we want to recruit Manuela anyways on this route since she's the only best most convenient warp user, which I, I talk about warp a lot, but we're not gonna, really going to be using warp for most of the run because warp is slow. You don't want to warp in speed runs if you can help it. So I think I think in this route I use warp only twice, and that's it. Yeah, I think it's only twice. No, three times, three times. Technique. Okay. What is four for the week, one down. Alright, we're one hour in. Six and a half to go. Hopefully less. And I'll skip bubble cutscenes. Oh, since you're so I'm to do it. No. I am, but the land. This was the, but this. They have, they have. I'm a, which bring. I'm not the only. You and my. Okay. Plane up here, Dimitri here, you there, you there, that's it. Here goes. Thank you. Let's take them out. I'll cut through. Much needed. Stay focused. Um, you. Poke. Go, go now. Ah, oh, wrong tile. I meant to cancel left, but it gave me my input because, yeah. Uh, you, you. I have to do that all over again. It's rip a lot of time. Let us away. Yeah, the thing about speedrunning this game is that this game is really unoptimized. I had to make that clear. To the point where you have almost a third of a second of input delay on all your menus, meaning if you want to go fast, you have to make all of your inputs early, like before they before they show up on the screen. It's like if I so like every time you see me like select Flane and move her, I'm already pressing A and moving her before the game even the cursor is even on her. So like if you want to go fa menu fast, you have to do that all the time and memorize it ahead of time. Um, but if you're a little too early, then of course your input's gonna get eaten. So. That's just a byproduct of trying to go fast. You sometimes just lose an input because you're trying to go fast due to the game's terrible input delay. Each new <laughs> okay. Oil and water time. We're gonna go. Guess what? This game reuses maps. Did you know? We're about to go be going exactly the same map. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, on it, I'm sure. Did they ruin? That uh, uh, is that? I uh, and then. Uh, it, it, I and what? So what? I was what? Protect old stuff. Up on what? Do do do. All right, oil and water. <clears throat> Another defeat boss map, and we have a flyer, of course. So. Here goes. Well done. I'll cut through. Thank you. Stay focused. Poke. Ah! 
Strength. Oh, okay. Bulk is good, too. Okay, and that, those are all the paralogs we're going to do in part one of Azure Moon. We're not going to do many more paralogs in Azure Moon. We're going to do two more, and, but um, Annette's and Dimitri's, but that's going to be late in part two. And that's it. learn warp if she didn't i'm gonna have to use backup struts i didn't pay attention to if she learned it or not so we're about to see Not have warp. Okay, well then. Um, we're gonna have to do something else then. That's, that's fantastic. We got really unlucky with our auto instructs, even though I warded all the time, so good game. Thanks. Okay, um, more plane. Back there. Stay focused. Um, I'm on it. Let us away. I'll cut through. This Much needed. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. I went through a lot of effort to making sure that Manmal like did something every turn I could. So, oh well. I guess I just got really unlucky with the auto instructs. Uh. gonna get we're approaching the fourth map that we're gonna see the Donkey Kong again because he totally doesn't show up way too often to the point where he's a meme boop 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 set it Lincoln one what is Right, so we just got set up in a party. I'd like to for this playthrough. He's for this playthrough. He's gonna be a more of a support unit because he has free access to the Cavalier class, meaning mounted um, battalion user. But he's he's a very good unit in general. Um, I, I reclass Phylus back to the Enlightened one because it's an it's a good class for what being free. Um, and most notably, I want to really I really want to use it because it gives plus two strength, whereas Pex and I give none, I think, and sword fair, which is plus five attack if you're using a sword, which. We have the Sublime Creator Sword, which is a very good weapon, so... Yeah. We're gonna be using, be using the Enlightened one when we need the extra firepower on Byleth. Um, Lance of Ruins, Iron Sword of Creator, um, Knowledge Gen, do take the rest of the bow, Dimitri, Sword, do, do, okay. I, don't think, I hope I didn't forget anything. 
Might in one. That's a Ronin Sword of the Creator. Sublime Creator Sword. Knowledge Gem. Rusted Bow. Lance Axe. Dex plus four. HP plus five. Lance Breaker. Okay. We should be good. Fun fact. You can move Miles with the gyro controls here. A lot of people didn't know that. So. Um... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, uh, Flane and Flane and Nets to the front. Take me safe in case I got custom flamed really badly. Stay focused. Alright, so Felix and Duty were kept alive this entire playthrough just what because we need the paralogs, but now that they've served our purpose, we're killing them off. Because having a student around alive costs a lot of time. Unfortunately. And this is the best time to kill them off. Report. I'll cut through. Well done. Here goes. Rally. The blind creator sword. Boop. <laughs> 162 damage. Okay. Thank you. Crit. Oh, dang it. Okay, good. So if you don't crit Edelgard, then she has her own Crest of Flames, which has a 20% chance of activating. And if it activates, then she. If it activates, then she heals herself a bit when she hits you. If it activates, then there's also an extra 25% chance of her can dealing plus 5 damage and canceling her counter attack. So there's a, that's a net total, that's a net 5% chance of her activating the secondary effect. So if she activates that and hits me, then I can't, I don't double her attacker, and that happens. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, oh, it's only a 5% chance. It's never happened. I mean, if you speedrun this game, it's gonna happen. I lost count of how, how many times it's happened. And like it's realistically way less than 5% chance. Cause like there's, you have a high chance of just critting on your first hit, meaning it wouldn't matter. And she also has a chance to miss you even if she procs her 5% and so on. So it's probably more realistically more like a 2% chance. But yep. Oh yeah, time skip. Uh, Dimitri is broken now. He's been kept at level one this entire playthrough for a reason. So in time skip, your house lords become automatically certified into their unique classes. In Dimitri's case, the High Lord, meaning all of his stats went up to the base stats of the High Lord class, which is an advanced class. Meaning he went up to like 17 strength as a level one unit. And units typically gain a specific number of level ups depending on who they are. Like Seth gains two levels in the time skip, Felix gets three, Bernie gets zero, and so on. But in normal mode only, anyone below level 20 gets auto leveled all the way up to level 20 for free. So Dimitri's stats went up to the base stats of the High Lord, and then he gained 19 auto levels on top of that, all off screen. So he's. It's pretty common to see him have freaking 30 strength as a level 21, 20 unit. So yeah. He's gonna be the carry now. For the part, most of part two. 34 strength? Holy shit! What? <laughs> and we got rattled. So rip a lot of time. Nothing you can do about it. Holy crap! There, there's a, this is kind of a pain in the this chapter is a pain in the ass in Azure Moon because you don't have a flyer because yeah game design um, not really game design but this map just kind of sucks if you don't have Claudio et cetera. just kind of trudge through. Even if I die, orders. Definitely need to Dimitri. Um, you go here. Take the door key, case, concoction. Injuries mean nothing. Top, 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 top. Yes, that's a fifty percent chance. Um, so one of those thieves that Paul just spawned with has an evasion ring. Um, that you can get if you kill that thief, so one of those two thieves that he was next to. If he spawns at the bottom, which as far as I know is a 50-50, then that thief doesn't have an evasion ring for whatever reason. So you, if you get 50 50 and get the bottom pattern, then you just permanently miss out on an evasion ring, because good game. And there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do about it is either just keep going or just restart the entire chapter. Because you can't Divine Pulse and reset that. Because Three Houses is a quality video game. 
that being said, part two is really fun coming up. Um, we just got Gilbert in our party, and he's going to be kind of handy because he is a free smite user. And smite is a really nice combat art because it just shoves a unit two tiles, which it's really good in a speedrun because it's very fast. It has pretty much no animation. This is going to be handy in some spots here and there. And he also has a convenient D authority, meaning he can just smack the Kingdom Archer's Battalion on him immediately. So he's not a bad unit. I used to think he was one of the worst units in the game when I played this like a few times. And then I've learned to really appreciate what he offers to the table a lot for free. Um, armor right. Oh wait, armor flying. Authority. Dimitri, store everything. Knowledge gems, energy drop. Um, Wyvern Co, Shamir, so it's Holy Monk, Gilbert, Sylvain, Violet, Pegasus Knight. Set it. Cavalier. If it... Dimitri. Wyvern Rider. So yeah, we also set Dimitri's goals to C flying until he had C flying and B axis so we can make him a Wyvern because Wyverns are <laughs> broken. And Manuela has 15 magic, so we have to certify her. That's group time. Uh, we want her to have 16 magic because we want four warp range, but that means she gains zero magic from her auto levels, which is unfortunate. What? And that's a time loss because an extra certification is time loss. So, oh well, not much you can do about it. Just gotta roll with it. Top. And again, these birthday menus are really fast because we don't have any tea leaves. If you had tea leaves, then you lose over a second for every birthday prompt. <laughs> because it asks you, do you want to have a tea party with a really slow menu? I'll... I'm getting it. Okay, uh, we have another beefy menu coming up because... So one of the big reasons I, I do Azure Moon first is because Azure Moon has like the most broken support battalions ever. Like a lot of really good, a lot of battalions that are like relatively low rank with really broken gambits or just good for offense or stat boosting in general. Most notably, we have access to the Blue Lion Dancers, which is an A rank battalion that can dance for up to four units again, which is as broken as it sounds. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Dimitri. Welcome! Silver Axe. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? And Barracks. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Um. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Come back soon. Um. Oh, we're still not C plus bows. Uh, I can fix that with one um, seminar. Pretty easily. Oh, it's not really worth going out of my way for now at this point. Just remember the seminar. Next map. And we just learned learned um darting blow. Which isn't really gonna be that useful in this route, but we're gonna be buying it Let's clean up. every playthrough with New Game Plus later on. Thank you. So it's gonna be really valuable for that. So, this is a route map, but um, the objective of the map changes when you get a green unit to the bottom right corner of the map, set the map on fire, and then aggro the boss, which requires going in front of him after you set the map on fire. So that's what we're doing. We're going to be striding the green Sorry. unit and Violet so we can get the green unit down as fast as possible. Clear this out with Violet. And now next turn, we'll set the map on fire. 43 strength. Do -do -do. Map set on fire. Um, Lance of Ruin, heal. And then we hope we don't die to Randolph. If we just aggro them. Okay. C plus Lance. And map done. We're going to be doing pretty much that exact same strat in every route with this map. So. 
Thanks, Pinethian. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing names. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, well. Should I seminar or should I convoy a bow out? I don't really know which would be faster. Doing a seminar or just grabbing a bow for some bow experience. I think seminar is just gonna be safer. I wanna hit C plus bow, C plus lance by the end of this playthrough. So I can buy it with New Game Plus. So that's the goal. And I'm I already hit C plus lance, but I'm like just short of C plus bows. So I think it's worth doing a quick seminar. I a menu just doing it mid-battle to use a bow is probably faster, but only if I menu it really well. And I've got probably not the best idea. This seminar is probably just going to be realistically faster just because I don't have to spaghetti anything on accident. I won't end up spaghetting something. There is always I always Okay. Um I'm getting go. the head. Hopefully. I understand. <clears throat> okay. So we're about to see the gambit called D Dance of the Goddess. And you're going to be seeing it a lot. Because Azure Moon is the only route in the game where you can actually get two battalions with this. Because um, every every route with access to Enbar can get the Opera Core Volunteers, which has that same gambit. But you can also buy Blue Lion Dancers only in Blue Lions, of course. So we, we're going to get both of those battalions eventually, meaning we're going to have two dancing battalions. Which is the biggest reason why we want to have um, do Azure Moon first for two dan dancing battalions. Okay. Uh, onward. onward. I need to strike. Let's clean up. What's the plan? We dance for our dancer. I hear you like dancers. I'll dance for your dancer. Hi, boss. Hi, boss. Chapter 16 coming up. Make sure my posture is okay. We're about an hour and a half in. We've got about six hours left. Come on. All right, we just got the Great Lord Glass. Hooray. I'm Get back on your wyvern. This A quest. So, I changed Bios back to the Enlightened one just because I want Swordfare again and plus two strength. We don't really need Flight on her anymore until all. the end game. So. So, what's most important on her is just the extra attack power, really. So yeah, we still have the Lance of Ruin, and we're still going to be using it, FYI. And there's a pretty good combat art in this game that everyone learns at Sea Lances called Night Kneeler. And it's effective on cavalry. 
<coughs> and combat arts that are effective d doubles the weapon's might. And the Lance of Ruin has 22 might. If you do the math. Yeah, it's a little broken. Pre pretty powerful. If you Night Kneeler with Lance of Ruin. Attack. Let's clean up. Wasted it. I'll comply. Okay, so defeat all bosses map. We're gonna spend a turn just setting up, but we also don't want to go too far or else we spawn another boss in spawning, and we don't want to do that because that costs What's time. My strategy? Crit. Dang it. What's the point? Uh, Unite. Guide me well. Oh yeah, we have a second stride gambit, by the way. I don't need help. I'm your girl. Yeah, we have two stride gambits. Well done. Because Blue Lion, that the Blue Lion House also has access to the Kingdom Cavalry, which is a D-rank battalion that has stride. So we have two stride users now. Oh, lovely. All right, one boss down, two to go. 45 strength. Holy crap, this Dimitri is strength blessed. Okay. Raise your Fs from nobility. Night Yeller 1, have a 60 damage. Or 180, why not? F nobility 1. F nobility 2. 62 damage. F. F for Ferdinand von Iyer. So we might have noticed I have not drank, drank any water at all this run because I don't want to pee in the middle. <laughs> but I also don't want to like be dehydrated. So like I started off this day just drinking like chugging down a crap ton of water and then making sure I use the bathroom before to, just before the run. So hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. I will eventually get water of course, but I'm trying to just find a balance of that. Remember to stay hydrated. Um, and that's Gilbert, C support. I'd like I'm Yay, we unlocked master classes. We're not going to use a single master class until the third playthrough. Certification requirements for the Falcon Knight class are too high for violets right now. I see it. hopefully this I always War at Grander Field, where there's a lot of fog of war according to the game, except not really. Okay, playing so vain. That's it. Let's, Let's clean, clean up. up. Wait. What's my strategy? This song is so good. Do -do. Music is so good. Ah, I love Skin Glow with you so much. I'm great. I'm your girl. Na, na, na. I don't need help. Onward. Do, uh, here I think. Do 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 do. do. I'll comply. Do do. do. My orders. Do, 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 What's the plan? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wasted effort. <laughs> I don't need help. 
I'm having. Boop. All right, that went smoothly enough. That gold split's fake, by the way. Violet like always levels up there, but she didn't. So that is not really a real time save. <laughs> Which is why you shouldn't really put much thought into gold splits in RPG speedruns. Speedruns like this. Okay. Okay, weather gains a phone lin. And we're gonna do another paralog. It's been, it's been a while. Professor Top. Okay, Dimitri learned weight minus three, so I'm gonna change his goal to axe only, so he can hit axe prowess, the next axe prowess, axe prowess four, I think. Which is B plus axes. Um, and then battle, weather rings. So that split name was a bit too long to fit, unfortunately. That split name's supposed to be generic portraits of Fulton. Professor. Because, you know, Gilbert's brother has a completely generic you portrait. Although that's more, um, because so. you're fighting Gilbert's brother, and it's just a random voiced, admittedly, generic I, portrait, but it's that's more effort that they put in than Hilda's brother, who is always ha under, who always happens to be sick and doesn't even have Annette. any dialogue <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I could pilot. it. Okay. Beat boss map, you know the drill. Let's clean up. I'm great. Leave it to me. Onward. Oh, come on. Eating inputs. I have my own. Alright, GG. Hilda's brother is too cool to bless us with his appearance. <laughs> They're saving Hilda's brother for a sequel. Well, he'd also have pink hair. That's true. Probably. <clears throat> yeah, this, load, this load is taking... Yeah, that load took longer than usual. What the heck game. Three houses loads. Okay, uh, reclaim the capital, defeat boss map. Um, this is one of those maps where I'm sure even like most casuals were like, no, F this, I'm just gonna bop the boss. <laughs> Cause yeah, Cornelius is just like right in front of you and it's just doing, playing out this map is a massive pain in the ass. Fun fact, this map has two generic bosses, like a generic um, warlock and a generic swordmaster. They are replacements for Felix and Annette. They are supposed to be replacements for Felix and Annette. You're supposed to fight them in another route split because, um, well, let's do this map first really quickly. Um, I'll explain a bit more. Let's clean up. Let's help leave it to me. What's the plan? All right. So yeah, there's some dialogue in Azure Moon where Gilbert asks if you want to go to the kingdom or to the empire. 
And like you go you go to the kingdom by default. And if you try to say Empire, then Gilbert's like, nope, just go we're going to the kingdom. That is supposed to be a route split. And the game like kinda presents it as a route split too. So like a lot of people are a little bit confused about that, understandably. But that is actually supposed to be a route split. And if you go for the Empire, then Felix and Annette actually defect from you and you actually have to kill them on this map. Um hence why there are two generic bosses on them. And if you don't believe me, there are actual voice clips of them like when you face them in that alternative alternative route. There's even a um there's even some dialogue that was really sad to listen to, by the way. Some unused dialogue of Gilbert killing Annette. Like when you fight have Gilbert attack Annette, which is impossible right now, because Gilbert's Azure Moon exclusive and Annette's never a boss in that in this route. So there is dialogue for that too. Um there is dialogue the other way around. You can have Annette attack Gilbert, because you do face Gilbert in the end of Crimson Flower. And you can recruit Annette out of house there. But yeah, no. Game, this game is extremely incomplete, which is unfortunate. It makes me really sad with how this game could have been so much better if they didn't, weren't so ambitious. Or so <laughs> absurdly rushed, but we got what we got. So, hey. It is what it is. Still a really fun game. Just very incomplete. All the more. It seems my well worth. I'm getting it. Oh, any any voice work by Sedith is like so good. Although honestly, pretty much all the voice acting in this game is like A plus, A plus. Just, just the voice acting in this game is so good. They put in, like, I give this game a lot of crap because it's like stupidly, terribly optimized, a bug fest, a glitchy fest, really unoptimized, terrible loads. But like, I can never give this game any crap for the audio. The voice acting is phenomenal. The OSD is so good, and like, that is really what carries this game so hard, in my opinion. God, the music's so good. Oh, I love this game's OSD so much. Great orders. Leave it to me. All right, leave it to him. Oh my god, Flane and Raphael support is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> well, pretty much any support with Flane I love, honestly. Even what the heck is this Dimitri? He he like has he normally has a lot of trouble getting close to 45 strength at endgame, which is a magic number to hit. It saves a lot of time if you hit 45 strength at endgame, but. He were not even at endgame yet, and he's already hit like 47 strengths, which is crazy. So. Yeah. Hey, fail not. We're not going to use that. <laughs> I Okay. Oh, I actually... The two splits are actually out of order right now. Oops. Because I'm going to be doing the paralogue next. That's okay. Whatever, it's no picky. Dimitri went lifting carts. <laughs> Dimitri is super buff. He has the highest strength growth in the game. I think it's 65, which is ridiculous. Might be, might be 60. I could be remembering wrong. I'm and I believe Wyvern Rider gets plus 10% strength growth, so he has at least a 70% str strength growth right now, which is crazy. Um, short axe, you, um, stat boosters. Age of Shield, and Gilbert, Shamir, Store All, Lance Breaker, Wit Minus 3, and then Manuela, Kingdom Priest, Alceta takes Kingdom Armored Co. Priests, okay. Heavy Knights, and then Byleth. I've said.
Thank you. So yeah, my splits are wrong. I no, ordered that incorrectly. You know. Yes. No biggie. I'm, he, nah, I'm, I was, I'm but right away. Okay. Uh, this battle's pretty good. I mean, I think her like strength is around average. I think it's like I don't think she's really been blessed or screwed. She's been solid, which is good enough. Dimitri, on the other hand, has like 47 strength right now, which is ridiculous. <laughs> this Dimitri is strength plus AF. Also, hey, Rangor, how's it going? Okay. My orders. Rally up. Thanks for that. Gamp it up. Retribution up. Wow, Stride up. Kyle's. Dance. Thanks. Uh, Silver Axe. All right, kill boss map. We're in ten range of Hubert. He's dead. See ya. Hey, Papa, how's it going? Do 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 All right, so yeah, this split is um very inaccurate. If it wasn't obvious, so. Um, I'm actually. I was okay. I. This, I haven't really touched this file in months, but I was doing kind of a Ferdinand von Iyer plus girls only playthrough for Silver Snow Imagining, and like it just kind of turned into a Ferdinand von Iyer plus Bernie playthrough because like they just both started caring so hard, and my Ferdinand von Iyer got like he got so defense blessed that I just like memed it up with him as like a Fortress Knight and stuff. It was, I mean, don't get me wrong, Fortress Knight is actually a legit decent class in Madden for Madden purposes, situational but still good, but. <laughs> I, I kind of want to make him a great knight just for fun. <laughs> I, I mean, it could work, honestly. It could honestly work pretty well with his defense. So, but we'll see. Yeah, gr great knight. On, I mean, great knight's not a bad class. It's just cert certification is just... Ugh. It's not too bad. I, I enjoyed the class a lot. I remember, like, using Gilbert as a great knight in one of my playthroughs, and that was just really fun. So, yeah, the problem with it is, is the certification requirements. Okay, taking Fort Mercius. Leave it to me. Onward. Uh, that. Whoops. Well, that's okay. She was gonna get that level up anyways. I. My orders. Let's clean Let's up. Let's clean up. Let's help. What's the plan? I'm good now. Crest. With. Yeah. I mean, mobility is an issue, but like, that doesn't mean that armor knights are bad in every game. They're 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 pretty bad in GBA finals, for example. But um, like they're they're situationally pretty good in the DS games and this game too, honestly. Snipers and three houses. Oof. Yeah, like also, like in Final Fantasy Seven, also himself is good. Yeah. Oh, class is kind of, but yeah. Let me ask. Do, do, do. And hooray, we didn't hit C plus professor level. Good job, me. We didn't lose time. Gilliam has three base speed, I think, which is pretty hilarious. Although, although then you say, compare it to Bartray, who also has three speed. <laughs> FE7 Bartray.
Ugh. All right, so this map is, has, there's a bit of explaining to do. Um, this map has a lot going on. It's a defeat boss map, and he, we have a really long way to go to reach Hubert and kill him. But we also have a secondary objective, um, because this is the map where we can get a, a second, um, a second Dance of the Goddess Battalion. And in order to do that, we have to get Manuela or Dorothea to the Opera House. And we don't have Let's Dorothea, we have Manuela, so we need to get Manuela there too, to the Opera strategy? House. We have to do kind of a complex, little bit complex setup. There's no stopping, There's no stopping me. me. What's the plan? Onward. Just try to gambit a lot of enemies. I would either kill someone or oh, forgot about that. Kill someone or try to rattle us just to make sure that we don't get bothered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use impregnable wall, just so that. Sylvain and Manuel take no damage, basically. The Pregnal Wall is a gambit where when you use it for the rest of the turn, that unit takes and deals zero damage. So it does what it sounds like. You save me, dude. Alright. Get rid of this bow knight. Dance. Why, thank you. Okay, and we're, now we got the dialogue of being at the Opera House, so now we're gonna get the Opera Corps Volunteers Battalion. Dance. Well and GG. Last map, and then we have one route down, three to go. The longest one out of the way, because this is the one where we have to do a lot of setup or training and stuff. Remember to stretch your hands and wrists. Okay, remember to replenish my battalions, because I forgot to do that last time. And I have this massive, massively in red in my notes, just to make sure I remember. Because I forgot to do that, and that kind of screwed me over pretty badly last run. Um, you, there, you, there, you, there. Do, do. Let's clean up. Alright, we're gonna stack a bazillion buff on Dimitri. So he's strided, of course. He's retribution, so he counterattacks everything at any range for the next five turns. Leave it to me. He's gonna be rallied up, so plus four strength, plus four speed. Um Onward. We're also gonna use Sacred Shield on him, so he takes no damage from range attacks. Thanks for, for the rest of the turn. There's no stopping me. What's the plan? Guide me well. Dance. I need the run away. Um. Dance. I forgot to use blessing on Manuela with Manuela. Well, too late. I meant to, I usually try to use blessing just so Dimitri can take one more hit, but not worth divine blessing at this point. I think we're fine. We, we have the strength. We hit the strength threshold of 45 strength to one round the first health bar with the rally. So What's my that strategy? just makes th make things way safer and faster. Do 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 do. And more defense and strength and dexterity. We take those. Dimitri's hit rates on Edelgard are kind of little. So dexterity is always appreciated. Do, do. More hits is always good. Um. Defense, good, good, good. I will not die here. Fifty-two strength. Holy crap! 
52 strength. What on earth is a Dimitri? Don't be careless. All right, and we should be good. Oh, or not? We got critted. Okay. All right, we just got critted. Hooray! What's my strategy? That's unfortunate. Burn my hands. Okay. Don't be careless. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I thought she wouldn't. Oh no, Dimitri's too. I forgot. Dimitri's so strength plus that even the brave axe put her into wrath. Advantage wrath. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. All right. Azure Moon done. Next playthrough. Yeah, and all cards chair is pretty OP. <laughs> yeah, you don't want him to be too strong. I think it's 50 strength. If he has a 50 strength, then Silver, a then Silver Axe puts Edelgard into Vantage Wrath. If he's at 52, then Brave Axe does too, which is which is bad, which he barely hit, so. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Oh well. All right, play through two. Strength, we take those. Careful now. I mean, if you're dodge tanking, a brave sword's not going to really do you that much good. <laughs>
We got door. We didn't get door on the first playthrough, so yeah. Have you met that door? door was longer than usual, though. Jeez. <laughs> Goodness, it felt longer than usual. I hear Three houses. I appreciate your effort. How are you? So you. You. They are No. This. I. Look. We will. And loads. That door had to load all patch versions of three houses. Oh god. <laughs> a smart a small part of me would have believed that, honestly. Say. They gave en enemy mortal savants the fiendish blow skills on 1.0.2, then in 1.1.0 they removed it because it was one of the very few matting changes made from 1.0.0. Madden has hilariously few changes between game release and mode release. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Time for a... Like, I don't usually, I don't really like saying the phrase, like, they likely didn't play test this or something like that, because that's usually kind of just undermining a lot of the effort that's put into a game. But I legitimately feel like the Maddening mode was not really play tested much. And that's, there's so much proof of that. It's really sad. Um, okay, um, Lance, Training Bow, Shield Dragon Sign. Okay. Knight Kneeler, then Union Wyvern Co., Cavalry, Zero's Holy Monks. Welcome! Is that the thanks? I'm sure. Ready and willing. Stay focused. <sighs> Strength. Well, oh, okay, bulk is good too. Oh god. I got hit by like, everything. Okay, let's, ho let's hope I don't die. Yeah, there was also an Infernal mode, which is probably a good thing they didn't release it, given how ridiculous it was. But yeah, there was an Infernal mode that's, that was data mined. Usually if a game goes through proper QA and you found lots of issues like this, it's not because QA didn't do their job, it's because they did. But their reports were thrown out. I mean, yeah, that's why I usually don't like saying, like, oh, this was, probably wasn't playtested. But this game just has so many issues that it kind of screams that. And so many development issues all around that... I'm surprised this game is released. That's how bad this game is in terms of, like, its development process, I feel like. With how, bug how much of a buggy mess it is and how terribly unoptimized it is. And how incomplete it is. But... Yeah, there's there's just so much, so many like cracks, spaghetti. That's just evidence of how this game, this game's de as awesome as this game is. The development cycle for this game was 99% just a complete mess in terms of like the management and such. 
But hey, it's still a fun game. <laughs> so I've seen some people say like, oh, if they make, whenever they make the next Fire Emblem game, they should, at least they can use three houses as a base mechanically. And I'm like, no, no, please, no, don't, no, 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 no. I do not want the next Fire Emblem game to use this game as a base, as a code base. No, just please, no. <laughs> just no. I do not want another game like Three Houses in terms of like it's... Oh god. <laughs> this game is a mess. A level of mess, but it's still a mess. Okay. They, they can definitely use it as a base. But I don't know. Ugh. Oh, they have to like read if they want to make it like actually good. They would have just have to do so much to the point where they practically have to read just redo everything. I feel like. So, it'll definitely need fixing, and that's, I guess, supposedly a polite way of putting it. <laughs> Professor, hey, I've been thinking. I'll be there. Okay. Seems like much faster and easier than from scratch. Yeah, I'm biased, so. Thanks for your help. I, I, if they just ditched Warriors mode, that would Don't help so much, I think, because Warriors mode, <laughs> lol. Okay, uh, writing, faith, lag, lag, lag. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I think you can all just see how much it lagged there. Like, holy shit. Yes. Huh. Holy crap. Well, that, that was one of the worst lags I've seen in that goal menu. My efforts is all be oh. I think this game was, like, originally started development for 3DS from what I've read, actually. I think this game, if I remember correctly. I could be remembering wrong. I remember vaguely remember reading a source about how like this game was originally started development on a 3DS. The oh. But I could be wrong. Who me? Stay focused. Oh, people are actually dating my like the game code itself. Actually, that wouldn't surprise me. You, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the game code is written in assembly? <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, written, written in assembly. Jeez. That's hilarious. I actually didn't know that. Oh, that's even worse than I thought. But. Okay. So we want to work towards um, getting Lysithia to warp. See, I'm beginning. I think I. I think I. Aha! Uh -huh. It's starting. I'm getting there. Um. There, there is a difference between like assembly just being compiled itself already versus code itself actually being written assembly. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, but, yeah. Hey, T. Okay, do 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 Archer. We still want Archer Violet for later on. Archer is still a pretty good class. So, hey. Machine code to ASM is trivial to convert. There's no way this game is written ASM. So. 
Um, okay. Um, remove you five, and that should be everything. I'll save you, save just in case something happened. Stay focused. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really paying too much attention to the conversation about it being an assembly code anymore, because well, that's just kind of going over my head. So. <laughs> Ready and willing. Yep. Uh. Wait, did I unequip? I think I unequipped on accident. Stay focused. Yeah, because dismounting. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, I forgot to um, have everyone just go around. Okay, well, Let's that's get fine. To it. Have them load over. Um, you. I can just put you here. Leone's still alive, so I need her to die. Okay, there we go. Okay, um... Oh, I forgot. I, I hit the wrong hockey for that. Whoops. Okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't, um, I'm not part of the Three Houses Hacking Discord, so. I don't really know if that's completely true or not, so. It's likely that it was just like compiled into assembly or whatnot. But. Gidra's dis disassembled code. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of this is now kind of going over my head, so. Yeah. Um, both string forces. But yeah, don't, don't basically don't take my word for that, I guess. That's what I'm saying. I have a favor to ask. Okay. Frerix, Tyre, Seros, Holy Monk, Four, Blessing, Iron Co. Replenish. Thank you. At the world net. All right, see you around. Okay. Um. I have a question. Professor. Okay, Manuela. Seminar. My effort. I think. Aha. Uh -huh. I still have time to give. Okay. And then Sylvain, take the line dancers, and then crap, uh, Marianne, Kingdom Marchers, mission, go. Exception while decompiling. The compiler process died. <laughs> Sylvania, Violet. Okay. That should be it. Let's go. 
Fog of War, hooray. Wait, I thought I replenished battalions. Excuse me. Apparently not. I swear, I just replenished my battalions. But I guess I didn't, I suppose. And Marianne. Who, me? Yes, you. I'm on it. Um, you, you. Do, 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 do. I won't. Again, have to kill him to spawn the boss. Do, 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 I was hoping for a Crest of Flames proc, but oh well. Crest of Flames. Oh, one HP, hooray! Careful now. Uh, I don't like those odds. Uh, I'm gonna take out the Iron Bow too, I need the extra firepower. Not fantastic, but I'm fine. If it was a giant function, I think it works in newer versions, but I can see Gitra having issues switch games, compiles are much better generating decently optimized code. Seminar with Manuela. Okay. Okay, chapter four. Okay. Looking back, I think I would I, I think I think that while this game definitely had a development mess, I think it was, I think I got a little bit over my head as well without <laughs> trashing this game. Um, it's extremely unlikely it was actually written in assembly, but I still would believe that it's, this assembled code is a complete mess. But I'm kind of curious to read more about that. Apparently didn't replenish my battalions, okay. So vain to front. Okay, who me? Thanks. Stay focused. Come on it. Okay. Keep it up. Alright, you're about to see the strat a lot of times, because this is gonna be exactly the same in every route. <laughs> strat move so bang closer, stride, dance, bow. One turn. Right, happy two hours, I guess, 14 minutes ago. <laughs> I cannot. Ugh.
they shift with symbols, we would see more horrors of its code quicker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we want to have warp at this point. On like Sithia. Mm. Faith. Okay, we're good. Okay. 124. That's expected. And we're going to get ex about 126 after this upcoming... After... Hey. Yeah. This month, which is enough to hit B rank. Yeah. I'm begin uh -huh. And warp. And we'll summon our Seth because we don't need faith anymore. Might as well get some Lance experience and authority. Claude, Bow, Ignatz, Faith Authority, Marianne, Faith Only, Ignatz, uh, Dex, and then Italians. Custom Archer, Lion Corpse. That should be everything? Yeah, that should be everything. Okay. So, yeah, Chapter 5. We get to warp skip this. Hooray. Although, it's going to be a little bit of a, sp of a spaghetti fest, strat wise. Um, because I don't really have brave weapons. I don't really have a reliable way to take out like a monster's health bar in one go or take out Miklon in one round of combat or something. So, to do this safely, I need to wipe out the entire second floor and take a few turns doing that to do this safely. So, and that's why we have Archer Pops, which you can counterattack and or attack at 3 range, which is fantastic. And her defense is terrible now that I look at it, it's still bad. F. Leave it to me. 2 to range warp. Hooray. Um... Gambits so that we can't get gambited by those fighters. Oh. Yay, defense. We kind of need that. And King of Lion Corps, because a really powerful battalion. Um, at the cost of like five avoid. Oh no, five avoid. Um, you get like plus 10 attack, plus 10 crit, I think? And, like plus five, five hit? The plus 10 attack is like the huge, huge um, reason why you want to use it. And wave attack. Wave attack is a really good gambit. Do, 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 do. Crit. Dang it. We're at six out of six strength levels out of sixteen levels, so like a point below average right now. All right. Poke. Da -na 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 -na. Strength, please. Defense. Well, strength is good. Go speed. Do do do. I'll do this. Uh, I already used my second wave attack. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go heal. Go here and heal. Stay focused. Defense, please. No. No. Uh. Okay, well, whatever. All right, we have Sylvania in our party. So we can deny Rhea the Lance of Ruin once again. And deny her, we will. So yeah, another re if it wasn't obvious at this point, another reason Azure Moon is done first is for Sylvain, because Sylvain is the most, the, the, e mo the earliest out of student, out of house student you can recruit into the game, basically, for free, with no requirement, yes. except being a girl. So we, want him to train up his authority rank so we can have a really early 
Professor. Answer to God as Battalion User by Chapter 2. Well, although we don't really get much use out of it in Chapter 2, so we do it by Chapter 3. So, yep. And we're going to skip straight to the mission again. Uh, oh, nothing here. Skip to the mission. Ground chamber. All right, so we do have warp. The problem is, I said they only has two warp range, and if we want to get three warp range, we have to give her experience, which costs time, and then hope for a magic level. Which, while her magic growth is really good, it's again, it's not something you want to rely on still. So yeah, we can't. We need. We can't warp someone into the Donkey Kong's chamber, but we still have Violet as an archer. So we can still just cheese it with Curve Shot. And cheese it we shall. Ready anytime. Thank you. Stay focused. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Stay focused. Oh no, that, that was Ready fine, yeah. Anytime. Delicious cheese indeed. Get some defense, please. Holy crap. She she has average defense for a level 10 okay. unit, and she's level 20, just FYI. Thank you. Can you mind? And she is still at average defense for a level 10 Byleth. <laughs> oh, chapter 7 is going to be a train wreck, isn't it? And I can't win them all. All right, so yeah, I can, I can, I know, have no idea how to pronounce your name, sorry. But see you around and enjoy the lurk. All right. I'm going to stand up for a bit. I've been yes. sitting down for a while. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I need. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab my smoothie soon. I don't. I mean, because I want to stay hydrated, but I don't want to drink water a lot because I don't want to use the bathroom in the middle of the run. But I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit, and if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So I'm gonna get my smoothie at some point soon when I get the chance. A good chance to do so. I kind of want to stagger it out a bit more though when I drink water. So it's maybe time skip. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So we are still going to do a bit of support building in this route. Primarily to get Lysithia up to um, B support. Because then at B support, she can request to join your house randomly. Which is what we want in the later two routes. I'm begin I feel like I got it. Uh -huh. Get the wooden flask. Yes. I have a request. I have a request. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Do 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 do. Flying. We're doing this quest primarily for their ingredients, so we can die more. That's really it. And since we're doing we're doing this quest anyways, we might as well train up flying. Nothing else is really useful from her. 
Okay, um, I want to recruit Shamir, recruit Ig Ingrid. Okay. I can assist with I'm Okay, Ingrid. We need 17 dexterity as an archer to recruit Ingrid, which we should be fine. We're good. I will be And then dining hall. Okay, Deirdre, and then Lysithia, Ingrid. And we're also gonna hit C support with Ingrid, because we need someone to dine with Ingrid. Someone to dine with, like Cynthia, so we might as well get Ingrid up to a C support too, so we can recruit her more easily, reliably in the Silver Snow. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Shamir, Bow, Plane, Flying, Ingrid, Lance, Authority, Authority only. Shamir, S Bow. A new. Uh, Ingrid, that's a ruin. Okay, that was a lot of menu you had to do there. Oh, Milana! Thank you for the 40 month, 41 months of sub. Hope you have been having a great day. And I'm guessing you're taking a lunch break. No, wait, you shouldn't be. It's 3 p.m. I'm guessing you're hanging out or, or teaching or whatever. Hope you have a great day. Practice. I feel like it all makes sense. Oh, you're done with school? It's 3 p.m. Oh, yeah. I think high school does, and we're on 2.45 for a lot of people in, in the U.S., I think. Could be remembering wrong, though. It's been forever. You just ate. Ooh, food sounds nice. This menuing is... Yeah, I... I'm, I just know where everything is. So, like, I don't have a lot of these menus memorized, like, per menu, per se. But, like, if I if you tell me, go to Shamir and pick buy her Espos, I know exactly where to go for that. Really quickly. The battalion is a different story, though, because the battalion order can vary depending on like how much experience the battalion has or whatnot, and that can vary. So like that can be a bit of a mess to try to menu. Okay. Um, ik you 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 you. Oh. And then you know Wyvern Co. And then Ignatz takes all the co volunteers. Welcome, Iron Lance, Brave Lance, um, and Sandbox, Ingrid, Elixir, Punch Battalions. I hope I didn't forget anything. Ow, oh, bleh! Spaghetti. Alright, epic music hype. Ready and willing. Retribution, everyone up. Ready anytime. Thank you. Ready. And Ingrid's gonna be helping out quite a bit, because yeah, she has really Stay pretty focused. darn good bases if you recruit her out of house. Yeah. There's a few reasons for that, um, which I'll get into after this chapter, because I need to focus on this chapter. <laughs> High school ends at 140 for you. Jeez. Oh, that level up was sick. Holy crap, Ingrid. Ah. Eh. And Ignatz. Knows heal, so he can heal Byleth. Appreciate that. As well, and as well as be a rally bot for her. Get some defense, please. There we go. Uh, I forgot to move Ingrid last turn. Should be fine though. Uh, right. oh, rally, heal. Okay. You got a net. Close one. Oh, well, okay, that's fine. Um, rally. Down. Okay, so if we're lucky, Ingrid, well, I'm gonna put Ingrid into two range of Dimitri and hopefully she'll kill him. Because that would be great. If not, then well, not the end of the world. Be mindful. Um, one shot Mercedes. Kill her! Yes, we killed Mercedes. She's not gonna heal everyone anymore. Let's not waste time. Um, go up again. Okay, Petra still is doing stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Poke you, sort of traitor. Uh, do, 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 do. 
I have no idea what a defense that is. Um, I'm gonna heal with Ignaz. Do needs to go. Um, okay. I'm gonna have Ignaz sacked. Wait, how is Ignaz still alive? Excuse me. I mean, I'm not complaining, but how are you? Oh, only one has attacked him. Okay. I'm a bit uneasy. Thank you. That explains things. Okay, so I'm gonna move Byleth back because it's not game over if Ingrid or Ignatz die, which is fine. Well, if that happened. Um. Okay. Um. Kane of lands. Careful now. Yeah, Ingrid missing that package and I hurt quite a bit. Ready. I'm a bit uneasy. Well done. <laughs> Oh, he's out of heals, crap. Okay, well, just rally. Be mindful. Yeah, this is going pretty badly. Oof. Okay, so you finish that one off. And you finish this one off. Poor miss. Lance of Ruin. More like Miss of Ruin. Lance of Missing. Alright, that was pretty bad. But there's gonna be a bad chapter 7 at some point, so hey. No biggie. Out of South recruits auto calculating from level of the class you recruit them at. It's so silly. The fact that they use enemy gross is even sillier. Makes Ingrid and Petra, out Petra outside out of house insane recruits. Yeah, I can't help but feel that that's like. I can't help but feel that that was like a bug or an over silly oversight, honestly. But I'm, I'm, I'll take it though. <laughs> It's kind of a beneficial oversight, if anything. So basically, when you recruit a student, a unit out of house, they get non-random auto levels based off of their growths. And based every class has like a player, player class, player version of it and an enemy version of it. And their growth rates are actually different. Um, so I think like the enemy pal enemy cavalier class has um, no, neck no minus 10 speed growth, whereas the player cavalier class makes you lose speed growth. Um, the enemy cavalier class also gives you like plus 25 res growth, plus 20% defense growth and something absurd like that. In Ingrid's case, um, she levels up, she auto levels as the enemy exclusive advanced Pegasus Knight class. So there is a inter intermediate Pegasus Knight class and then a master Falcon Knight class, no advanced class, but the enemy have their own advanced version that the player does not have access to. But Ingrid levels up as that Pegasus Knight class, which is why she gets really good growths out of that when recruited out of house. Like, if you want better stats on students, you typically want to recruit them as late as possible. But the later you recruit a student, the um, less time, the crappier their ranks are going to be, which is as important, if not more important, than the raw stats themselves. So. Kind of a trade-off there for the most part. Ah, uh, look. Uh, all right. Oh, let's see. Do do do. All right. Paralog number seven. This it is To my other. To me. That fit at the moment. So well, of course. Oh, yeah, this is the re this is the main reason we have Lawrence kept alive, so we can do his paralog and get out of the way. Recruiting him out of house sucks because he requires reason to recruit. Um, and on on the plus side, if we set him to faith, he learns ward as well. He learns some pretty nice utility spells, mostly ward and recover. I think might be physic. I don't remember. Ward is nice, and we do use it a few times. All right, the this is gonna be a very complicated, complex chapter. Watch the strat. Oh, okay. That was a really complicated chapter. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. We're about one third of the way done with the run, so hooray, one third mark, roughly. And this is the eighth chapter, eighth map in this game run. And we're gonna see Donkey Kong again. Okay. In the Claude and Marianne. Okay. So yeah, um, now that we have a flyer, we're gonna be doing this chapter exactly the same way every time. Um, this is a defeat boss map, but the boss cannot be attacked until he turns into an enemy. If he turns into an enemy on the start of enemy phase of turn two. Meaning, the fastest way to kill him is on enemy phase turn two. Problem is, he has a gamp, one to two range gambit. So if you try to kill him on enemy phase by putting him in one or two tiles away from him, he's just gonna gambit you. So the alternative is to put him at three, put someone in three range because he has a three range spell. So he's gonna attack us at three range because he can't gambit us from there. And we have retribution active, so we just kill him. And we're gonna be doing that every time. Just blaze through that. Looks like. Do, 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 do. All right. Um. So, I, these par the paralogs. A lot of the paralogs I've been doing so far have been kind of like the less interesting ones because it's like, oh, stride, bonk the boss, stride, bonk the boss. This one's actually one of the more interesting ones coming up. It's probably one of my favorite maps in the game, honestly. Um, a really a pretty interesting objective. You have two different ways to beat it. You can either route the map, which is really big, so you don't want to do that even casually, or have Ingrid arrive at the bottom right corner of the map. Which is one of the reasons why we recruited Ingrid here. Um, we, because if we try to do this in the Blue Lions route, then Ingrid is not a Pegasus yeah. Knight, so having her arrive is a massive pain in the butt. Um, try to, but we, we can also technically do this parallel with only Dorothy in our party, but Dorothy doesn't really do much else well, in the run. Oh. Um, like she can't really help out, whereas Ingrid can. Because <laughs> free flyer. So by do doing it in Verdant Wind, we get to kill off Dorothea in Crimson Flower and Silver Snow for because we already did her paralog in Verdant Wind. So we're about to do that. <clears throat> oh yeah, and we also want to make sure we do this paralog with Ingrid in our party because if we do this paralog with only Dorothea and not Ingrid, we do not get the Luin, which is one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion. And we also do not get the Galatea Pegasus Core Battalion, which is a really good B rank flying battalion, which we also really want. So, we really want to do this with Ingrid in our party. Shoutouts to more unused content. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there was like an unused support that they were supposed to have, but they don't because it's three houses. So, it always confused me why they had like a relationship like that when there was literally no support for them in the game. So, unused content, I assume. Okay, um. Everything I think. Okay, start. Let us away. We use rescue because rescuing is faster than warp. Well done. Or she doesn't get a kill because she gets no experience and no experience means faster. I'm on it. Okay, uh, Sylvain goes here. Ingrid Ready. goes here. Stay Violet focused. kills this guy. Ready and we dance. Remember, we have two Dance of the Goddess Battalions. Thank you. All right. Ingrid fly here. Violet, we're going to kill this spider brigand because we want the prayer ring just for a little bit of extra healing in later maps. And then we're going to dance again. We're just going to fly here. We're going to unequip her so she doesn't counterattack anything or get rattled because enemy units don't, usually don't gambit you if you're unequipped. So... Uh, I want to trade your hands out. Get a new one. <coughs> we just turn. Have everyone die in Violet. Ingrid just kind of camps. 
shells. Mounts. Chopper done. One of the coolest strats in the run, I think. I really, I'm pretty proud of this. Probably one of my favorite Parallax speedrun, so. Yep. And we just got the Luin, which is a really good weapon as well. Um, Lance of Ruin is 22 might, what, and 20 crit, I think, which is ridiculous. But if you noticed how often we missed in Chapter 7, its accuracy leaves much to be desired. I think it has 60 to 65 hit, which is oof. Um, Luin, on the other hand, has 90 hits, which is the highest hit out of any Lance in the game, I believe. And it has a pretty respectable 17 or 18 might. So, yes, it's like 4 or 5 points weaker, but on the other hand, you, see, you get like an extra 25 hits. Which is a huge hit boost. So it's a very good weapon, too, and we're going to be using it here and there. Yeah, I forgot to mark that off. Okay, um... Uh, Shamir, Sarah's... Archers, Ingrid, King of Pegasus Co., and then go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um, wrong one. Menu, uh, items, toss them. Not that. Um, uh, Brave Lance, Lance of Ruin, Brave Lance. What is that? Um, Ingrid wants the Luin. Claude wants the Training Sword, Prayer Ring, and then Elixir, I think? Is that, is that, thanks, is that, thanks, Okay. Who, me? Thank you. Who, me? You stay to work. Ready. Burning Quake. Cut to the monsters, break the barrier. Do, do, do. Stay focused. Ready anytime. Do, Thank you. Do, I stand ready. I'm on it. Do, do, do. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. Eat an input, please. smoothly. Oh, rip dad. No one ever saw that coming. Okay. Now we have one more Paralog to do in part one. No, two more Paralogs in part one. Um, so we're gonna be going, we're gonna go ahead and do Setus Paralog. This is just a convenient time to do it because we have Ingrid on our party now. So a second free flyer to help out. And this is a route chapter. So it's more involved in just LOL, Stride, Bonk Boss. Um, and we also have Setus for free on this map, although as a green unit, as a assistance unit. So we don't actually have him on party. Just He's just controllable, which is fine. Professor, that I think it's starting. I'm getting the hang. I understand. Okay.
and yeah, unskip up a cutscene type. Brother, oh. you are you. But... <sighs> sure. My in Wickham. I too, no matter Professor. If you are I <sighs> wonderful. <coughs> Okay, an ocean view, route time. Alright. We're gonna be buffing Sadith up so he can double attack and take and be able to tank magic hits. Stride all of our flyers. Who me? Retribution all our all of our flyers. And we're gonna use ward on Sadith, because otherwise he's just gonna die to all the magic users. He actually can die if he gets it every time. Stride him up, he's fast. No, we just have said it. Go ahead and gambit this assassin. Hopefully we don't miss. If we didn't miss, good job. On, stay no, we just... Um, where are my... Do I not have my Iron Lance out? I do not. Uh, Iron Lance. Poke. Dance. We're gonna be putting Violet in the tile that's in range of just about all of these mages. So she's gonna kill all of them. An enemy face, and then Ingrid's gonna go ahead and take care of this bottom portion of the map. It is out. With the Luin. Okay, don't miss. He missed. Okay, well, that's a 92% chance of, hit of hitting. Okay. Guide me well. Again? There we go. Again, 80 displayed hit is actually 92%. Okay. And auto battle. We're still at 10 defense. Can I just point that out? That we're still at 10 defense? So we gained 4 defense levels out of 26. Which is, that's like around... That's like almost like 15%. For reference... Violet's defense growth is 35%, so give or take, it's a, it should be about one-third on average. So she, she, should have, she should be on average around like 16. So 26, 27, not plus 9 roughly. No, 15. Like 14, 15 is what she should be at on average. Okay, so Sada's going to ask to um, talk with us because we just unlocked the support, and we're going to say yes. Not because we need the support. But because if we don't, if we say no, and then when he actually joins us, he's going to ask again and waste time. So just say yes and get it out of the way. Okay, sealed forest snare. That's correct, right? Nine paralogs. Done three in this route. Six at the end of Azure Moon. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Ready anytime. Who? Who me? me? My face. Stay focused. I'm on it. I'm... Uh, oh. Oh, she just critted us. Jeez, Kanye, please. Stay focused. <laughs> wow. Um. Oh wait, we don't double her. Oh. You're a... <laughs> Okay, there we go. Wow, our speed must suck then. <laughs> if we're not doubling with darting blow and rally speed. That's fine. Alright, 
Alright, are you excited for Bios to gain defense on her certification as the enlightened one? Because I sure am. So for ref um for reference, um the base defense of the Enlightened One class is twelve, I think. So if her defense without any modifiers is less than twelve, then we lose time. Because it's gonna get buffed up to twelve and we're gonna get an animation stat boost. Da -na 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 -na. So we're gonna get that. Do 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 Wow, yeah, your speed sucks. Your speed is not very good right now. It's time. Um. A question. Okay, so we're gonna be doing making one one last significant monastery visit, and this is gonna be aimed towards bumping up our support with Lysithia to B and Ingrid to C. So we can buy those in later playthroughs. Conveniently enough, there's an owl feather right here that just spawned. Um, uh, you drew, you, you drew. Eat, I. Okay, I just got unlucky and they just didn't ask to talk to me. Okay, sure. <laughs> you don't have to do it immediately, but I don't think they do. Hopefully not. Shouldn't have to. For what it's worth, do Shin Megami Tensei have over two hours of loads in their speedruns? <laughs> okay. Claude, Ignatz, and then Claude held out you and then reclassed. Okay, good. Okay, fair enough then. I, I'm not familiar with Shin Megami SMD series, so. Much ready anytime. Thank you. It's just if a game has as much, if not more, those in three houses, and that just means that game is bad. <laughs> Stay focused. Ready and willing. Uh -oh. I'm on it. Why even are low times so long in this game? Because this game is made of spaghetti. My verdant wind, um, my verdant wind world record is an 80 minute is an 80 minute speed run. I trimmed out two types of loads, depending on what screen you get. So I didn't even trim out all the loads, and that shortened the video down to 50 minutes. So over 30 minutes of an 80 minute speed run is loads, and it's even it's more than that because I didn't even exclude take out every single load. So yeah. This game is pretty bad in terms of an optimization standpoint. And that, I'm, I'm being very easy on it, honestly. Like, I believe it when people say, like, this game is made of complete spaghetti, because it kind of is. But I've already said that enough on this stream, so... No, this game is, like, an entirely different level of spaghetti than, like, any, any other Nintendo game. Like, no, no contest. There, I don't think there's really a Nintendo game that made a patch that literally made loading worse and introduced bugs that were never fixed. 
Okay, well, I'm sure there were some who did that, did, but yeah. Okay, Seth, um, armor writing, grid lance, plane, take across the bow, Seth, hand axe, you, uh, your bracelet, black pearl, use it. Oh, ah, okay. I've never played Pokemon Gen 7 or 8, so I can't comment on those. I just know, like, a lot of people are very oof about those. I've seen footage of it, and I have, and I can't, it does not look like it's anywhere near as bad as Three Houses in terms of its optimization. But I could be wrong. I know the 3DS Pokemon games are like very poorly optimized too. Um, at least if you're just playing on a normal 3DS, hey, you're Pokemon. pretty bad about that. Oh, oh, there's a... So if you want a reference, um, okay. Hey, it, running across a four second lawn, if, if you, okay, so you run for four seconds in the monastery, okay? You run across the lawn for four seconds, zoomed in, pointing the camera down. Okay, not pointing the camera down. You don't you just zoom in, just keep the camera neutral and you run for four seconds. Now, if you point the camera down while doing that, you save over one second out of every four seconds. That's how bad the optimization is. It's really bad. Okay. So you really need to learn how to, if you want to speed run this game, you have to learn to point the camera down while running because you save about one second for every three to four seconds for that. Because the lag is just that bad. Appreciate it. And that, that's, uh, that's um, comparing zoomed Thank in, pointed down versus zoomed in, well. period. If you compare it versus zoomed out, it's going to be even more time. So that's actually just being nice to the game. Stay focused. So. Yeah, it's sad, but we got what we got. An incomplete piece of spaghetti game that's still very fun and lovable. With lovable characters, a fantastic voice act, cast of voice actors. Because holy oh, crap, the voice acting. Ah, I forgot the retribution. Um, this song is awesome. This parallax is actually pretty fun. It's a pretty ma big route map, but you got units spread out for a bit, so you can kind of spread your units out and clean portions up. And we've got some. We've got three flyers. Some strides, some dancing. I'm on it. Dance. Well done. Ingrid's gonna take care of this portion of the map. Boop. Take care of you. To win. And Shamir's gonna take care of the middle and a monster. Do 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 do. This one. Here's hoping the next fire on the game isn't anywhere near as incomplete. <laughs> And here's hoping that the next final game, take, they take their time with it, instead of rushing it so much and being too ambitious like this game, because, oh god, this game is so incomplete, and it just makes me sad. Strength. Okay, um, Claude. Ready and willing. Appreciate it. Guide me well. Ooh, do do. Oh, I missed. That's unfortunate. Hey, it's Frank. Oh yeah, and I need to dance for you. No. You did it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm concerned about. Like this, this is the most successful Fire Emblem game, which is good. But also bad because it also means that it shows that they can get away with like a really badly optimized game. If that makes any sense. I mean, I'm hopefully they won't look at it that way and be like, oh, well, this game sold well despite all of our issues, all of its issues, so we can do better. I hope they look at it that way instead of oh, well, we can get away with just making a really crappy game because it's gonna sell well no matter what we do. So like, kind of see it from two angles. I hope, obviously, I hope they do take it the formal way. Be like, okay. We learn from lessons. We can improve on this, as opposed to oh, we can get away with just being making a terrible game because it's gonna sell anyways. Okay, and that's another paralog down. But yeah, 
please take your time. Take your time with your next game and don't. Ugh. It's really a, sucks when there's like so much pressure. Also, to like rush your games, like that's the issue with Sonic 06. Was that like, there, well, there was a, there was like a huge split in the development team. I think if I remember correctly, because and like half the development team went off to move work on Sonic and the Secret Rings, and then like there was a lot of pressure from Sony and Microsoft, I believe, to release Sonic 06 as it was. And so you, Sonic 06 turned into what it was because of that pressure. And I imagine, like, they already delayed this game by over a year. And even with that, it's just, it's just so... it's very incomplete. So it's like, oof. If they had another year with this game, then that would have... imagine what it could have been, but... Oh well. Okay, um, Ign Ignatz, you... Actually, uh... Opera Cool Volunteers, Jameer, Sarah's Holy Monks. I let's do something else. Lysithia, take an unused one. Okay, I kind of spaghetti that a bit because I meant to do that after the preps here when my unit orange is a bit different, but I already committed to it, so oh well. I don't care for Fire Emblem Heroes, so I don't have an opinion on it, positive or negative. I, I just know it doesn't interest me. That's all it is. <laughs> I know some people hate it. I know a lot of people love it. The only thing I know is that Gatekeeper got number one, I think, and you're accused your character, and I love it because the Gatekeeper is amazing. Shoutouts to the gate, Three Houses Gatekeeper. Oh, now that's that plane. Got a big nuts about Violet. Then plane here. I have a report. Stay focused. Who? Who me? me? Let us away. Press the bow. F. F. Report. Ready and willing. Thank you. Ready anytime. Fun fact. If you didn't know, the voice actor of the Gatekeeper, who, by the way, is amazing, um, is the same voice actor who did Alm from Echoes. Guide me well. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, imagine Alm's voice doing the Gatekeeper, because it's the same one. Same voice actor. Hey, you got bulk. Alright. Time skip time, and now I'm gonna go get my smoothie really quickly. So be right back. Yeah. I in the holy kingdom of Fargus. I live. Okay. Let's do this. What's my strategy? At the ready. Eh, that's just about average. That's strength's not fantastic, but it's fine. Okay, good. Okay.
it's kind of weird because like casually a lot of people don't really like part two much that much understandably because it's well i don't know Monast at that point the monastery has gotten like really dull and repetitive and like there's a lot of the story gameplay integration falls apart even more but like in the speed run like part two is like the fun part of the run and a lot of it because of like the setting the music the badassness badassery and it's also when you get like all of your broken tools together and cheese the game even more so like when i do like a single route speed run the first third is like a massive pain in the ass and just really boring and tedious the middle portion is like okay this is pretty fun i'm getting into it and then the part two which is like the last third of the run is like heck yes this is why i speed run this game <laughs> Um, Pegasus Knight. I've set um, Claw. Claw, do, and then. Elixir. Elixir, Stat Boosters. Lawrence, Rest of Bow. Okay. I like Hunting by Daybreak a lot for the setting. I think it is a terrible hey. map because of the lack of preps it gives you alone. And, yeah, just being really stupid bullshit on that end. But it's pretty, it's notorious for a reason. I think pretty much everyone kind of agrees on how dumb it is. Yes, I'll, I'm final. Okay. Chapter 14. Grandor Field is kind of the opposite. Like, I like playing it a lot, but the story re reason for it, Grandor Field is, like, pretty terrible. Like, they they were really desperate to come up with a reason for their golden gear to be part of the war there. And they also, like, talk about how you can't see anyone. Cause, and Edelgard's like, I want to cause so much chaos that nobody can tell from friend or foe. There's a lot of fog of war. You can't see anyone. Oh, guess what? You can see everyone. Fine. Nice gameplay story integration there, Three Houses. <laughs> Good example of that, of how this game falls apart there. Um, okay, uh, that's Shamir, Lawrence, and that should be everyone. Wait. I didn't buy a brave ball on him? Okay, I'm gonna have to double check that. I must have oh, forgotten the brave bow or something. More. F. The we Both is good. Mm -hmm, I'm hurt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's clean up. Yeah, it's there. I guess I just forgot to give it to Claude. Or something. Thanks. Or it accidentally went to combo or something stupid. Oh. It's just a missed menu somewhere. I'm grateful. Defense is not fantastic. Okay, good. We're good. There we go. Got defense. Hooray. Okay, ambush and ALL. Let's do this. Mm 
Brave bow, don't forget the brave bow. Brave bow, brave bow, brave bow, brave bow, brave bow. Brave bow, brave bow, brave bow, brave bow. Well, I oh, that's the wrong one. Oh well. Mm-hmm. More car. I'm really. I think I. It seems my. Um, move Sadif up. Let's clean up. Oh, um. Guide me well. At the ready. Steady now. Sorry. Appreciate that. Uh, this is the worst chapter because we're going to be killing Ferdinand von Iyer again. Tusk, tusk. Sad. Okay, chapter 16, time. I have a question. A swamp uh -huh. monster. So we can actually certify as a Falcon Knight if we wanted to, but one, we don't really need it. And start, so certifying is kind of a waste of time. And two, um, we don't really have a reliable certification pass rate at the moment. It's like around 30 to 50, I think, roughly. I'm going to go for it in Crimson Flower Part 2, and it's going to be around 70-ish percent. Because I will have hit um, B plus lances at that point. Like, I think, like, C plus flying. B plus flying. Don't remember off the top of my head. Let's clean up. 
Bunch of block at the ready. What's the plan? F. F for an von Eyer. That level is terrible. More. That level up also sucked. Jeez. What's my strategy? <laughs> <laughs> Got some defense, please. There we go. Got some defense, please. There we go. Okay, strength, defense. Cool. Wait, did he did he die? He shouldn't have. Well. You might be mixing it up with Acheron. Like if you saw someone die off screen, then that, then that was would have been Acheron. You know, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. It's yeah, it must have been Acheron. Okay, War Grinder, 4:30. My. I'd like to. Under oh. There is all I'm finding. Oh, we're about to see then. Okay, um, Sylvain, Sadis Shamir. Let's make this quick. Thanks for What's my strategy? Let's clean up. I'm great. Steady now. Thank you. Guide me well. At the ready. What's the plan? Well done. Dimitri. Don't crit me, please. Thank you. I may not survive. That was at least one minute of loads in a row. Yeah. Most cutscenes take between 15 to 20 seconds to load, and that was like three cutscenes in a row. Some take over 20 seconds. And then there's the actual gameplay, of course. So. Okay, um, a bit more ability management coming up at the end of month five. Hmm. 
Okay. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Need to know now. <laughs> I'd like Property has been going well. Unfortunately, Ferdinand von Eyer is now dead. In this route. <laughs> Sad. Come on. Okay, uh, but remove authority, move on rallies, okay. It seems Okay. Set it, armor only. Claude, you, and then Ignatz. Set it. Scythia. Okay. Um, so move to tiles, max move. Oh yeah, part one, part two. I've, I've had people get confused over that. I should probably, I should probably say like part one and part two, but I keep forgetting. So, oh well. <clears throat> oh God, playing the same route twice in a row would just be oof. White clouds one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, there's a lot of white clouds in the sky today. What's my strategy? Um, Let's clean up. You there. I'm grateful. What's the plan? Thank you. Steady now. Much needed. Guide me well. Okay, that should be good enough. Pope. All right, that was the tenth chapter we've seen a Donkey Kong in. Yep, that's the tenth chapter in this run we've seen him. All right, totally not overused. I kind of have a, a um, Donkey Kong counter in my splits. That's why, hence number 10 and number 11. I think it goes up to like 18 or 19, something like that. And for obvious reasons, I don't I don't count every time I use Eretza so, because that's a bit much, but otherwise, yeah. Dodge King 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yep, 22 times. 22 times. 23 if he includes Cinder Shadows, because he's there for reasons. Hey, Aaron. I'll need it. This Violet has been a little bit... I mean, she's not really defense screwed anymore, but her defense is still could be a lot better, and that's going to cause issues in the last map, where I lost a lot of time in my last run, because she kept dying over and over and over and over again. So... I might invest in grabbing a silver shield for her just to be safe. Because she's gonna probably need it. That's authority on Ignatz. Rally strength. Now we got the Holy Trinity. Rally strength, dexterity, and speed. Okay. So, this is a minor route change. Um, that... Okay, I swear I changed these split orders, but apparently not. Okay, so... There's no reason. I apparently didn't change split orders. So I guess we'll just... Go with it, I guess. I'm telling you, do it, but no. Just split as if it's like, no map. if it's, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm doing Marianne's Paralogue now. Um, this was the idea that Rangor threw at me, just kind of as a nice little backup, because by getting this earlier, we can get the Blute Gang, yes. which is a magic weapon. And magic weapons ignore defensive terrain, avoid bonuses from defensive terrain, which will be really nice in the chapter right after this. I mean, we don't really need it strictly per se, but it does help with reliability. So, we'll see. But yeah, these split split names are, yeah. I thought I moved like, the Mary Ann split name up, but I 
guess I apparently didn't. Same with the Claude one. So. Oh well. Okay. Ingrid, Ignatz, and then like Sithia, Shamir. Okay, defeat boss map, except it's a monster, so it isn't quite as trivial as oh, well. let's try one unit and get them up there. I'm grateful. Jeez. Steady now. You saved me. At the ready. Gambit. What's my strategy? Defense, please. Nope. Ready when you are. What's the plan? You're amazing. You're amazing. Okay, Burning Quake, thanks to Rally Speed and um, Strength, in no matter how bad Ingrid's level, up are, level ups are, she is always going to one shot with Burning Quake. So, don't have to worry about that. Poke. And. Nah. Spray bow. GG. Okay, yeah, so splits are going to be completely off for until the end of Verdant Wind, I think. That's okay. What are you talking about? It's probably the boss team is one of my favorites. Chapter 4 of Cinder Shadows is probably my favorite chapter in the game because of the music there, am I right? <laughs> okay. So, Rancor had a um, nickname for this boss coming up. Um, Dodge King, which splits are wrong. Um, because he's he has a battalion that boosts his avoid, and he's also on top of a plus forty avoid tile. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty fun to deal with. So, and we have to, and this is a defeat all bosses map. So we have to take out both the Dodge King and Hubert, and Hubert's already at the other other end of the map. Thankfully, unlike Azure Moon, the Verdant Wind Hubert and Silver Snow. Um, uses a Siege Tome. So he does attack as a 10 range, and he moves first, meaning we can just cheese him with Retribution. So we don't have to go as far, move, him, move our units as far. So we just have to move a unit within 10 tiles of him, and then just Retribution cheese him. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Do best. She'll do her best. Thanks, let's clean up. I'm good. Okay, so if we don't crit a clot, then we'll see Violet use the Bloop Gang. If not, okay, I need to move here. If not, then, well, we're just not gonna see it. Okay, we did not get a crit. What's my strategy? Sorry about that. Okay. Grounder! 100 hit! <laughs> Shoutouts to Grounder being used. No. I'm get and then move you here. Training Sword, Elixir, so you don't get bopped by Hubert. Matley. And there we go. So yay! Blue gang, blue gang strats were a thing. Hooray. Okay. Um, that was apparently DK number 11. Loads. Oh, 
almost done with Verdant Wind, and we'll be roughly halfway done with the run soon. Let's clean up. I'm grateful. Steady now. Sorry, at the ready. Guide me well. Let's make this quick. Do do do, and then the game's loading something here for some reason. Okay, uh, have a brave bow in the face. Claude, what happened to your strength? I don't remember the last time you got strength. I mean, it's fine, but still. I forgot to mark down this down as 11 paralogs done because we're about to do our 12th one this month which is going to be Claude's paralog and similarly to Marianne's it's another defeat boss map but the boss is a monster so again it's more complicated than just throw a flyer up there and kill it it's three throw three flyers up there and kill it with like five moves I mean these are these ones are fun though like they're not really trivial to plan out but they're also still really quick so I really like the concept of bosses in this game, honestly. Well, not bosses, um, the monsters. And I think that's one thing I would like to see return in later games. Although, this game did a terrible job of explaining it. <laughs> of how the monster Professor. mechanics took me a while to understand it better. Practice. S, S, S lances on Ingrid. Hooray. <coughs> hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I know. Huh. Well, well, I get. In any, of course, it's the map or that he must the if you and a chicken. Not we be. I'll. I really wish we had like a more involved paralog for Claude. Because this is one of those paralogs where they likely just like kind of smacked it on Claude because they didn't ran out of ideas or something or didn't want to think of anything unique for Claude. So, because this can honestly belong to like almost anyone. But. Nature of three houses. Okay. Um, Ignatz here, and then Sylvain needs to go here. And that's it. Remember to rally Violet. Steady now. I could be remembering wrong though. Well done. So. Let's clean up. I'm great. At the ready. Okay. Flyers. Flyers. What's my strategy? What's my strategy? Spam flyers. Ready when you are. They're stupid in this game. What's, What's the, the plan? plan? Guide me well. I'm grateful. All right, Ingrid. I hope your charm is good. 85 hit. Thank you. Thanks for not missing. My favorite song. There's. I'm the grandson of the grandson of the grandson of the elite Regan. Now tell me who you are. Sorry. All right, there we go. Yeah, 
so the splits are not going to be accurate until after the next split. So, yeah, don't don't take that as don't take that split seriously. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna have our fun dubstep chapter coming up. Hooray. Set the uh, remove. Oh, our sorry. Okay. Exactly the same as the burning wind speed on strat. No reason to really change it. This F. Oh, I do not like your health. <coughs> More. Okay, well, defense when you kind of need it right now. Eh? You're fine for now. I'm hurt, but I'm with you. I'm with you. At the ready. Last chapter. Let's do this. Okay. A question. Middle. I'm really there is all.
<sighs> okay. Last map, and then we can move on to third route. Holy monks, there it is. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that? Thanks a bunch. No. Okay, well, my Vilas defense is not fantastic, so I'm gonna play a save and buy an extra shield and elixir. Sorry about that. Steady now. Uh, she died like five times last run, and oh. Will... Okay. Um. Good level. Thanks for hitting. What's my strategy? Did I get the Luin? I did get the Luin. Okay, that was not what I meant to do, but we I meant to Night Nailer, but that works too, I guess. Gambit, blessing her. Because for goodness sake, we're gonna need we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. Blech. And Claw kills everything. Ride. Do do do. I'm grateful. Have I earned no reprieve? Oh. Do 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 do. Get you off that tile. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay, Byleth, don't die, Byleth. Come on, Byleth. All right, good shape. Okay, we didn't miss that memory. Good, good, good. Okay, we should be good. I think we're good. Uh, maybe. Okay, we're good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I meant to do that. Elixir. I'm hurt, but I'm with you. Oh, wrong, wrong combat art. Shoot. <laughs> I meant to use falling star, falling star. Crap. Look, that was that was entirely on me. But I'm with you. Okay, we got a crit. Of course, it's not enough to kill, but the weak. But we're not gonna die because the fallen star. So good. Okay, GG. Yeah, rip those battalions. That's why I swapped in a low-level Seros Holy Monk and Shamir because we're gonna lose it anyway. So better, it's best for it to be a low-level one because we want to keep the high-level one since it won't level up anymore. I kind of wanted to make sure Sedith, Ignatz, and Shamir all die because I want to lose our battalions so, or else it's going to mess up some battalion menuing later. <laughs> um, in, I bought, I hired Index Sword Fighters onto Ignatz, so, which is an expendable battalion. So I lost that one. I lost Alliance Sages, which is expendable because I don't really need Blessing anymore. Come on. Um. Okay. Crimson Flower. Yeah, I mean that preserving battalion is a real issue in the finale of Azure Moon because like the normal speed on strat is you just sack everyone and just get the mutual auto up there. And you all, that includes sacking your um, blue lion dancer user, but we don't want to sack that. Because we want to keep that for all the other playthroughs. And for a while it's worth, they also don't want to sack our sacred shield user, because we want to use sacred shield um, in Crimson Flower. Like, it is a real issue, and we don't want to lose any of our dancing battalions.
Okay, white clouds, number three, let's go. I will prevail. Stay focused. Uh, no, he, he, he died with the Blessing Battalion. I didn't deploy any Dancing Battalions in that map. Because I don't want to lose them. Do, do, do. Alright, Byleth. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Come on. Good level. Seven. No, it's defense. Careful now. Level two. <laughs> Strength. I have faith. Set us before dying with blessing. <laughs> wow. Uh... go ahead and put my smoothie cup away get some get a glass of coffee a coffee drink that I prepped in the fridge because I think I want to get some coffee my caffeine in my system soon Longest load in the game, May so I, I have plenty of time to grab something. Foster check. Stay hydrated. All right, are we gonna get doored this time? I hope you are we gonna get it. doored really hard this time or not? Let's see. We got doored. Fantastic. Whee. So we're two out of three on getting doored, unfortunately. We didn't get doored on our first playthrough. Azure Moon. I hear your I appreciate your effort. How are you? So you You No. I let we will. It feels good to be past the halfway point. We are like more than halfway because Crimson Flower is a lot shorter than all the other routes. Silver Snow is also a bit shorter. One le two less months, basically. One less chapter. Then Azure Moon and Verdant Wind. So we went through the first two, the two longest routes. So about three and a half hours left. I have my sweatshirt somewhere. Oh, my sweatshirt's back there. Getting a little chilly, so I'm gonna go grab that at the next long load. Professor mm, level C. Scythia B. And then class abilities. Wait, wrong one. Class abilities. Plus, Elance, Sea Swords, Authority B, Authority B plus, Flying C plus. Professor, you. The answer, Violet, best Violet. Okay, remember the conversation. Do not skip this 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 conversation. 
Do not skip this conversation. This is Congratulations, I did not skip the conversation. Okay. So I'm going to store everything. Iron Land, Storm Dragon sign. The usual, the usual, okay. Um, you. Um, I forgot to do this. Iron Land, Storm Dragon sign. And then... Galatea, Kingdom Cavalry, and then Bernie. What? Is that? Thanks a bunch. Torch. Is that? Thanks. I'm sure. I will. Um. Stay focused. I don't remember actually. <laughs> Shield Dragon Sign is Fall Darius, I think. We, this one can't be Fall Darius because we didn't. Our last playthrough was not with the lions. <clears throat> oh, it's Marianne's. It's Marianne's. Marianne's. Press of the beast, I think. You're a Do we crit? I don't think so. I'm not hey, strength. Strength. Okay, well, we got lucky with Claude. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Dude, aw, defense would be nice. Nope. So, yeah, one defense level so far. Okay, gonna get my sweatshirt. Yeah, the beast is the same as Frolarius, if I remember correctly. It's just, you don't really notice it, because you don't re usually attack with Marianne with weapons. As you okay, usual explore. Remember to recruit, recruit Sylvain. Oh, you did said no to Lysithia. Oh, God. Dang it. Crap. All right, well. Oh well. Hope for another chance soon. I have a request. Hope for another chance soon. It's a 10% chance per week, I believe. So we have about three more months work, months of chances to recruit Lysithia before we lose significant time. Okay. Little guard, talk to her. Is there reception hall? Oh, re reception hall. Reception hall. Quest recruit. Hey. Professor. Professor. Hey, I've, I've been thinking. Well, I'll be there. Second floor. Finish leading the charge. Ooh. Thanks for your help. Okay, who will win? My menuing or the lag? Have you? Okay, I won. Hooray! You can kind of tell the game was like lag. There were some du almost double inputs because the game was like caching them, I guess, or something, buffering them because of all the lag. It's all be. So yeah. <laughs> oh well. Early battle. Hope for some good levels. KT indeed. Thanks, Aeon. Uh, 
Okay. Deploy only Bernie. No. Stay focused. Okay, Violet, let's get some good levels. Especially some strength and defense. Perfect! Only two stats, but you know what? Who cares? So, some fun facts. Um, a lot of people don't know that... Um, well, I guess a lot of people would suspect it, but didn't really know. Students, including Violet, and including Clay and Sorrel, are guaranteed a minimum of two stats per level. They cannot get zero or one stat levels, but church units can get zero or one stat levels. It's something that, like, it's easy to suspect, because it's like, well, I've only seen, like, Hanuman get zero level levels. I've never seen it happen to my students. But it is a confirmed thing that, like, yes, you cannot get z less than zero less than two stats per level on your students or by list. It is a, it is a thing. Oh, you almost pp last night, really sucked the bridge. Oh God, the bridge chapter in Verdant Wind is, oh. Ugh. Like, I say that Verdant Wind is typically the most consistent route if you just want to finish runs, but there, it definitely has some sour spots. My the bridge is how long? Let's put this. I think so. One step before. Okay. Pegasus Knight, of course, as usual. And guide set as well. So by the end of this playthrough, which we will be fine with. We're, we want to hit um, B plus Lance. Perfect. I think. B plus Lance? B plus Lance and um, A Authority. A Authority so we can use the Kiko Wyvern Core in the last route. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to change you. It's time. I kind of noticed, yeah, like, from your stream, I think it was yesterday, actually, when, like, you and Raisin were talking about, like, okay, if you draft this unit, who would be optimal for this team and that team? And it's, yeah, it's definitely kind of turning into a more and more planned playthrough, which, I mean, eventually, if you do these kinds of things more often, then they're going to be start becoming more planned, I guess. Like, eventually, so. I blame Don Don. <laughs> Stay focused. Okay. I will prevail. Um. Okay. I want to keep using the training bow. So I also want to hit B bow rank. So that's another priority. That's my cue. Yeah, that's your cue to unequip. <laughs> that's speed, sure. Oh my god, please. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Okay, remember... Dialogue. Dialogue. Skip this one. Don't skip this one. Okay, good. Okay. Chapter 3 coming up. So I want to buy Authority on Sylvain, Full Strength Forces, Dine, Ignatz, Goals. And learning from the best. Okay. Okay. When is your race, anyways? Is I, I'm guessing you're racing this weekend? With Raisin, was it Gwimpitch, Raisin, and Don Don, I think? Okay. 
Sylvain, the Authority, Strange Forces, Clash of Battalions. Well, I have a favor to ask. Do do do. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. What do you reply? Thank you. In the world now. Fishing pong, dining hall, daily special. Hey. Oh, uh, you too. Oh. So, nice. Um, we, we need a C plus support with Edelgard to access Crimson Flower. So we're going to be building up a support with her, and um, by extension, we're also going to be building up a C support with Mercedes and um, Ash. So we can buy that at the start of Silver Snow and make recruiting them easier. I'd also like Edelgard flying. You create uh, authority. Learning from the best. Did you... Again, more for the materials rather than the actual rank. To do me a I simply must thank you, Professor. Alright, Lysithia, come on, Lysithia. Come on, Lysithia. Please come back. Lysithia, please come back. Oh my god, this load. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Come on. Ugh, okay. We only have three more weeks left before we, we're going to lose significant time from not recruiting Lysithia. And that was like just on me just saying no to her on accident because I um, autopiloted mashing B. Whoopsies. Okay, um, Sylvain takes the Opera Corps Volunteers, Hubert takes the Kingdom Archers. Archers. Convoy. Iron Lance. Brave Lance. Brave Foe. Two Silver Foes. Iron Convoy. Two Elixirs. Well done. As you wish. Stay focused. I'm on it. I won't. Looking great so far. Four strength levels out of 13. Two behind average. Not fantastic. Great Lysithia. Last chance. Come on, Lysithia. 10% per week. Come on, Lysithia. 
Come on, Lysithia. Come on, Lysithia. We have three weeks. Three, three chances. Army. Now two chances. Let me. Huh. Professor. Yes. Yes. Yes! Never punished! Yes! <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, God. Perhaps I've never one step It's fun. Got it. Never punished. I forgot she learns Battalion Desperation. Hmm. Damn, Lysithia. Faith only. Actually, no. That doesn't matter anymore. Okay, um, first. Lysithia, be faith. Um, Ignatz, S authority. Lysithia, bow, faith, Ignatz, uh, authority. Um, dining hall. Yeah, um, dining hall. Ash Mercedes, vegetable pasta. I could, so yeah, if she joined in the next map, the month after this, I could still technically buy Warp 1 and Warp Skip the map. The problem is if I go to the monastery on Chapter 5, then I'm forced to do the set of quests, a visit to Geralt What's the quest, map? which costs over a minute. I have a request. And at that point, e even if we get my Cynthia on that month, um, it's not worth doing the quest. You're better off just going with Archer. Strats to skip half the map instead. It's a bit faster than trying to do warp. Hey. Okay. Get the white gloves. Okay. Thank you. Convoy stat boosters. Ignots. Um. Birth. Okay, I just need to move Sylvain to the front, and then we're good. Okay. I see you picking up Edelgard gifts from the grounds. <laughs> All the owl feathers. I don't even know what the significance of owl feathers is. I'm kind of curious now. Um, why that's a thing. But maybe that's like a Japanese culture thing or something. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be spewing BS out of my mouth with that. But I have no idea. Okay. Oh no. A great stay focused. Come on. Hey, Donkey Kong. Bye, Donkey Kong. Alright, we're gonna see this chapter done one more time in like an hour and a half from now. Almost done with the boring part of White Clouds. Almost. Getting there. I yeah, I'm doing Silver Snow at the end. It has one exclusive chapter, indeed. So, yep. Oh well. So, being in the game four times. Okay. Um, so, chapter five, I can just skip straight to the end. Oh, thank you for that reminder. That's the first time I've forgotten to change my layout. <laughs> thank you. I've been doing a good job of remembering. And then I forgot one time. I do have the legendary world record for this category by default because no one else runs it. I 
And for obvious reasons, that has no that has no significance of whether that that, that says nothing about whether the run itself was actually good or bad. It just means that there isn't anyone else who ran it. <laughs> My effort, perhaps okay. So yeah, um, we couldn't really do this chapter as quickly in Inverted Wind, even with warp skipping, because we didn't have a way to reliably one round like each of the monsters' health bars, because we didn't have the ra weapon ranks to use Bray weapons, um, and we also didn't have like a stacked up rally bot at the time, so we had to like take a few turns to clear out the upper floor even after the warp, and then go for Miklon. And even the monster fight takes a while to do, but we have a stacked up rally bot and two dancers and a warp user, so. This will be pretty quick. And brave weapons. Um, else here. The ordering of the units is a little different because I'm used to um, Lysithia before yeah. Ignatz, but now it's Lysithia after Ignatz, which is annoying, but I'll have to fix that sometime later. Ready anytime. I will prevail. Much leave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, let's warp Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Targeting, please. Have a Brave Lance on the face. Boop. Please get some strength. And defense. Okay, that's neither. That's four strength out of 14 levels. That's less than a third. Bodes very well. That's still not strength or defense. Well, I'm about to have a, I'm bound to have a run where Violet gets strength screwed, so... Still a strength screwed. Wait, why are you not strided? Wait, crap, 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 crap. Uh, oh, I rallied first on accident. Okay, that was a that's a pretty big. I will boost. prevail. Well done. Ready anytime. Yeah, that kind of killed me. everything. So I have to redo all that, unfortunately. Stay focused. Oh my. Yeah, that's a huge time loss. Oh well, it happens. That's probably like the first huge mistake I just made in this round, honestly, so I think. I'm on it. It's so, bound to happen. Oh my god, please. Thank you. Alright, 17 strength. I think she's level 17, so that's 4 strength points out of 16. <laughs> cool. Ooh, chapter six. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna keep the Lance of Ruin this time, because we don't really need it. Um, and if we take the Lance of Ruin, um, we're gonna have an extra cutscene where Sylvain comes in to like take it, and that costs time. And since we don't really need the Lance of Ruin, there's no reason for us to go through that cutscene, so we're best off just not taking the Lance of Ruin this time. And we'll do the same thing in Silver Snow, because we're gonna get the Lance of Ruin anyway from Sylvain's Paralog. And we don't need to Lance Ruin so early in Silver Snow. So, again, I also want to skip that cutscene by giving Rhea the Lance of Ruin in that case. But. Yeah. At this point, I think an energy drop isn't enough to get Violet into um, average strength, so that's a bit of a red flag. Oof. I am not understanding. I work. Aha. Okay, underground chamber. We have three range warp now, so we can just warp Violet in. Hooray! Okay. Um. Let's 
Actually, I want to do this. Let's fix my unit. Fix my unit ordering. I think that's kind of worth it, honestly. Okay. Ready anytime. Leave it to me. All right. Can't wait for Bios to not get strength again. Stay focused. We're out of 17. We are now officially less than one fourth on our strength levels. Hooray. Alright, unskippable cutscene time. Hooray. Yes. If that I see. You know. Well, like we're at a point where even a rally strength is not going to be enough to get Violet up to average strength, which is a huge issue. So. <sighs> We'll see how this works in chapter seven. We'll see what happens. Okay, harvest festival. Fishing pond, recruit Shamir, as usual, because Shamir's bay. She's OP. Professor. Well, I can assist with, oh, I'm a bit. Oh, great. Dang it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dining hall, vegetable pasta salad, a guard, Ash. Now Ash is at sea support. Okay. Armor Axe, and then Shamir, Bow Only, Plane, Flying Faith. You know the drill, buff up Shamir again. What is Okay. We got Slate Scythia, Scythia, Silver Bow, Shamir, Silver Bow, and that's it. I won't. The battle. Aha! Uh -huh. I understand. I'm fine. Okay. Remember, support, support, support. Don't forget the support. Okay, good. Now I need to remember to do that again at the end of this map. Okay? Don't skip the cutscene after this map. Do not skip the cutscene after this map. Do not skip the cutscene after this map. Okay. Play all the Ignats. I will prevail. Thank you. Stay focused. All right, dinner rally. That's Ready okay. anytime. Probably want the chip experience anyways because this file's so bad. Still very bad. Okay. 
Well done. Awesome. Yeah, I figure she's gonna kill him, Grid. Thank you. There's our first point of strength at about 10 levels. All right. Stay focused. Um. Okay. Amazing. I'm gonna have you just camp here. Of course, he's almost dead because your defense is also bad. Thank you. Okay. Be mindful. Um. Move you up here. Um Much needed. Stay focused. Much needed. How far do not she got strength? Okay, that's her six point of strength out of over 20 levels. Uh, okay, he just literally isn't doing any damage. Um, okay. Uh, how's it run? Pretty shitty strength. It's, it's bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Okay, cutscene. 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 Congratulations, I remembered a cutscene for once. <laughs> Finally. I can... Um. Actually, I might want to keep that because of this pilot's strength. <laughs> oh. Well. Yeah, this pilot was stuck at 17 strength at uh, up until level 20 around, I think. So she's just started getting strength again after level 20, so it's pretty bad. But hey, happens. At least it wasn't the first playthrough where it's the most important. Or the last one. Well, we don't know that at this point. That A question. Do, 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 do. Okay. Reclass to Pegasus Knight. What is This is a work. Okay. For my calamity. Okay, I want to deploy I want to deploy only Hubert. Okay. Doot, 
do. I will prevail. Appreciate as you wish. Unexpected. Thank you. Stay focused. Kill. Nice strength. Okay. What's the base strength of the Enlightened One? I don't remember what it is. I'm guessing it's 17, because I think the base strength for physical advanced classes are 17 typically. I'm gonna look it up. Um, protagonist's final class. 17, okay. Darn. I wanted to see if Bifu gets strength from her certification, but nope. She's not close to below 17 anymore. And yeah, I was right. It's 17 for most physical classes in the advanced tier. Shout out to Wyverns randomly having 18. Yep, shout out to Wyverns. Question. Wyvern emblem. <laughs> Wyverns need the extra strength. Totally. chapter is going to be fun because 19 strength by Lith. Hmm. That berry's broken, so should be fine. This <laughs> Wait, did you just um excuse me? Oh was well, I wasn't one tile too far. I might have been one tile too far. Um Well that's exciting. That energy drop. Uh, sorry, Edelgard. Your teacher said no. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, so now is the time to do some uh, two more Parallax. Um, they're both really stupid Parallax because, you know, part one, Diffy Boss Parallax, as usual. But get them out of the way. It's just a convenient time to do it. Hope I'm pretty sure that Violet should be able to kill the bosses. Probably. I mean, you don't really need much strength to one round the boss in Shamir and Aloise's Paralog, I think, but... Yeah. Alright. Okay, there we go. C plus support with Edelgard. We just saved a bunch of time, because we didn't hit that in my previous run. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, okay. The battle. Hope this claim closing. Mm. Excuse me. And then what would? Ah. I'll, I can't. Beside. There are the mer. You have the. So uh, you should. Mister, come. We don't have to. Excuse me, Professor. Can I train Axe Armor? Edelgard, you're going to fly, and you will like it. <laughs> Pretty much to just up the speed run. Pretty much. Okay. Um. Swap Ignatz and Bernie. <laughs> It would be a... I will prevail. Appreciate it. Oh. Appreciate it. Stay focused. Ready anytime. Okay, please be able to kill. Okay, good. <laughs> that, 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 that's way more damage needed. But I was par I was really paranoid. Because that's not a boss I ever really need to care about stat thresholds for, so... Even without Rally. Death toll. So then what? I can't. But I was. I'm uh, very. So you're good. Okay, so I think. Okay, so after the next map, well, after this map and the sealed forest snare, I'm gonna be talk to Edgard, let that cutscene play through, and take a quick bathroom break, because, you know, that's a cutscene that I can just let it play through. I'll lose time, but, you know, seven hour run. I'm not gonna do a seven and a half hour run without using the bathroom. <laughs> so. Better than the last one where I did it twice. Okay, um, I can skip the preps. Oh no. Thank you. Ready anytime. Well done. Stay focused. As you, I'm on it. What? Oh. Um, maybe I shouldn't have used the Brave Lance there. Oh well. Hopefully, shouldn't need a Prania. Okay. You can swap what music plays on a map with the hex editor, so you can put funny footsteps over the final map of Azure Moon. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna get ready to turn this off. Boop. Temporarily. After for after this map. Ready any time. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Stay focused. I'm on it. Oh, that works. Just don't crit me back, please. Okay. I actually need want to get a different Iron Lance, so let's get that out. Um... Oh, that's an Iron Sword. Hello, Ethan inputs, please. Cause I want to, I still want to hit B plus Lance rank, so I keep working towards that. Hooray, we got strength. Hooray. All right, last part one month, and then we got part two, which is a bullet, which is Crimson Flower Part Two is pretty darn fun, honestly. Okay, that's. Support with Mercedes and talk to the guard. All right, see you in a bit. Perfect. It will take. It's not there. Is Thank you, my teacher. Father, forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in, how the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you, and so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. The time has come. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now. To complete the Imperial Succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Edelgard. From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Bodlin. Edelgard von Hesvelg, the crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hresvelg legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign. It went. I would then be you. It will. I know. Hey, Father. Thank you. Now, after the. Hello. We are out of time.
Okay. Have you ever looked at how hilariously bad the backside of that throne is textured? Uh, I'll have to look at it again then, because I never noticed. One step be I'm really getting. Okay. Two twenty-nine. And I'm Shamir. Oh. Wait. Why did we get electric? Oh, because we talked to Edelgard. Right, okay, okay. I was wondering why we didn't get electric question on 2 9, but. It's because we were talking to Enbar. I mean, where we went, we were in Enbar. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. It whoop so it is fast to go to 222. The problem is there's if I only leave myself one week afterwards, then there's only there's a chance that Mercedes won't ask to talk to me. So I do it earlier to guarantee that she'll talk to me for her C support. I don't really like that, but eh. Okay, Bernie. Wait. This is Excuse me. Uh, this is way different from what it should be. What this should be. Sylvain here and then Flame up there. Okay. Hopefully, that, hopefully that fixes it. To work. Appreciate that. You. Ready anytime. Much needed. Let us away. Stay focused. Some lance experience. I'm on it. He's on it. I'm... Uh, <laughs> barely. Jeez. Nice. Nice strength. Nice strength. How dare you! Wow, I didn't know you speed runs your percent gross. <laughs> Alright, and we've got like another minute and a half of loads and cutscenes, I that think. Was. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> I've been wanting to get into three houses speedrunning. Which option should I pick there for Crimson Flower? I actually, yeah, I think, so for those who don't know, um, I wrote the route guide in an Excel form for all four standard routes. And at that dialogue option, I have in the notes, if you don't know what to say here, then you shouldn't be running this category in the first place, <laughs> which is kind of true. If you don't know what answer you're supposed to give, then why are you running Crimson Flower? <laughs> okay. Okay, deploy nobody. I am free to sort of break lands, run the bow, knowledge gem, iron lands. Okay. Your strength is so bad, I'm gonna keep the storm dragon sign on you. Well, Brave axe, uh, short axe. Thanks a bunch. Petra, hand axe, and then iron sword. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. All five master seals. Thanks a bunch. Italian save, because this file sucks. Stay focused. Okay, uh, Iron Lance. I will prevail. Uh, 
Well, for what it's worth, it's more Lance experience if you can't one-round these. Another. He's still not going to be able to one-round them. A authority, good. Hey, we got strength. Wait, I want you to move here. Plus, uh, actually, that's uh, not good. Um, turn nine. Okay. Um, I'll just aggro him, I guess. Okay, <laughs> we survived. <laughs> Hooray! Careful now. This is gonna be fun. Be mindful. We survive? <laughs> wow, one HP. We survived the counterattack by one HP. Jeez. Not that it mattered, but still. Okay. Okay, part two time. Shoutouts to no animated cutscene. And only Crimson Flower. Okay, so this is gonna be probably one of the hardest, longer menus to do, so let's see. Okay. Do, do, okay certification, Storm Dragon Sign Elixir, remember those. Um, Okay. Here it's uh other guards fine and then other guard use all the yummy stat boosters. Sign Elixir, then Byleth, Darting Blow, Close Counter, Blow Prowess, Sword Prowess, H2 plus 5 Sword Breaker, Evil Guard, Sword Off, Not Lance Breaker, you, 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 Inspiration, and then. Well, we, we've got, we got our Archer and Pegasus Knight certification first try, so we were bound to fail something first try. It's okay. As Petra, Wyvern party. Oh, it's snowing again today? Jeez. <laughs> Eight defense. <laughs> nice. And then, like, Scythia, 25. Okay. Metal Guard, King. No, that's Violet. Uh, Endo Guard, Kingdom Wyvern Co., Hubert. Kingdom Archers, Kingdom Archers, Sylvain, Blue Lion Dancers, Ignatz, Kingdom Happy Knights, Lysithia, uh, where are Star Wars Archers, and then Yuritza. There, there's so much to digest in that menu. It's like, it's just gonna be really slow unless I really hard focus in on that. But, yeah. Okay, 70%. There we go. Okay. I've not bad at all. Only one fail. 
Only one fail. We take those. Did I forget anything? Storm Dragon Sign, let's start Edelgard. Edelgard, Petra, like City has 16 magic. Okay, okay, okay. Kingdom Archers, Kingdom Wyvern Core, um, Blue Line Dancers, Kingdom Heavy Knights, Sailor's Archers, Opera Core from all these. Okay, I should be good. I should be good. Ugh, there's a lot to digest there. Ugh. Wait, is that right? Did I switch Ignatz and Lysithia on accident? Hold on. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. So I want Yuritsa down here, and that's it. Okay. Do 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 Yay, Strength of Byleth. So yeah, Falcon Knight. Pretty good class. <laughs> Probably one of the best classes in the game. After, Of course, after Wyvern Lord, but still a really good class. Um, plus 10% strength growth, plus 2 strength modifier, I think, which is better than plus 0. <laughs> oh man, Landsphere. So Landsphere is a big bonus. So yeah, I mean, we don't need Falcon Knight immediately, but um, we do want Falcon Knight by chapter by chapter fifteen, protecting Garrick Mach. So yeah, like Falcon Knight is way more convenient to go for just because, like, well, you want to be a Pegasus Knight, so it just lines up nicely with that. Whereas if you want to become a Wyvern Lord in a speedrun setting, then we'll have fun raising your X rank. <laughs> but yeah, Falcon Knight's a very good class. It's pretty much going to be the go-to for the rest of this playthrough, and also the latter half of Silver Snow. Question. See. Okay. Of course, we're not really gonna master it because we don't really have time to master anything past Darting Blow and Hit Plus 20. So, not like Define Avoid would really be helpful in a speedrun setting, but for the most part. Okay, so for those who are not familiar with the time skip mechanics, as a reminder, Edelgard just became certified as her Armored Lord class during time skip as a level 1 unit. So, her base stats went all the way up to the base stats of the Armored Lord class, which includes 38 HP. Um, I, I think it's like 17 strength as well, something like that, um, as a level 1 unit. And then she gains 19 levels on top of that. Unfortunately, her speed sucks, because the Armored Lord class gives her no speed. Um, so yeah, but Elagard still has a ridiculous amount of strength for the most part, which is what we want, which is good. And she's going to be carrying a lot of part 2 for us. What's my strategy? Uh, top, the most important thing is the fact that she has her own web axe called the Amir. And this is what the heck happened? Let's here? clean up. I do this for all of us. Okay. Steady. Um. Well done for the and Amir is a really good weapon in its own right, but like Understood. the reason you want to use it is for a combat art called Raging Storm. And what does it do? It's a very strong combat art with high might, high crit, high better hit, I think, and it lets you move again. Hooray! So, yeah, not broken at all. I did not see what Elgar's level was. But she didn't gain speed from her certification as a Wyvern Rider, so I assume her speed is okay at least. Okay. Yeah, Defiant setups with Byleth just don't seem like they would really work because of Crest of Flames. I mean, Crest of Flames isn't, too, isn't a bad thing, per se, but it's bad like with low HP setups obvious for obvious reasons. Especially like if you're trying to animate enemy face something with Defiant Avoid, so it's like oof. Kinda I kinda wish Claude does something in the game if we save him. Yeah, he does get do something in Azure Moon if you save him, because we have to save him and you get the fail knots. 
But unfortunately, he doesn't give it to you here. <laughs> but whatever. May I ask? What? What? Professor. I feel like saving him is its own reward. Yeah. Now, Fair enough. I suppose I okay. Protecting Garrick Mach. Okay, so this chapter... So th the standard speedrun for this does clear this chapter more quickly than what I'm about to do. Um, because it uses up two Raging Storm uses, whereas what I'm doing here, I'm only going to be using one Raging Storm use, because I want to conserve one for a paralogue later on. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit fancier to work around that. Any character below level 20 in time skip auto levels to level 20, on normal difficulty only, though. Otherwise, if they're at least level 20, or if you're playing on harder maddening, characters gain a specific number of levels depending on who they are. For example, Felix always gains 3 levels, Bernie always gains 0, Sadith gains 2, I think? Might be 1, I don't remember off the top of my head. Etc, etc. Um... Crap. Sylvain likes Scythia here... Okay, uh, that should be good. I do this for all of us. Well done. Right. Steady now. Rally. A great time. Let's make this. What's my strategy? Do 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 do. What's the Dance. plan? Dance. Rally. Violence too. Boop. Much needed. Then. Do 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 do. Do 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 Yay! We actually want that to be capped. I'll return the faith. That was actually a suggestion Claris made, and I'm like, wait a second, yeah, you're right. We should take advantage of the Canto bug to save time. <laughs> so yeah, I there's a weird bug in this game, for those not familiar, where um, basically if you take a path longer than what's strictly necessary, then the game doesn't automatically calculate the shortest path for you. Um, so basically, let's say you try to go like one right, four down, one left. Um, so that's six move, but you only need to go four down. Um, in most Fire Emblem games, if you have remaining move left to Kanto with, then you would be able to Kanto as if you only moved four tiles instead of six. But in this game, it doesn't calculate that properly. It just takes the path you took rather than automatically calculating the shortest path you took. And most people have bumped into this in some way, shape, or form. It's kind of a dumb bug. But can the Kanto... Having to move someone again in the speedrun setting is slow because you have to waste like at least that second and a half of... The character just kind of posing in place, and then the Canto itself. So you actually kind of want to abuse the Canto bug to make it so that if you don't really need to Canto, just don't, basically. So like if you only need to move six tiles with a mounted unit that has eight move, then you want to abuse the Canto bug intentionally so that you don't aren't prompted to Canto anymore. And that's what I did in that previous map with both Edelgard and Violet. It's a little dumb that it's a bug in the first place, given that literal, even freaking genealogy and Dracia calculated it properly, but it's three May houses. I ask you top. Oh, pfft. You? oh it's supposed to answer top! Dang it. <laughs> oh well. I mean, that was something that like, Clara suggested doing, and she did in her, in her runs. I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty genius. <laughs> and I've tried, tried to get in the habit of doing it more often. Each mile I work to. Um. Uh, Wyvern Rider. Alright, Paralogs time. Insurmountable. 
All right, this chapter might be a bit of an issue because our Violet is stuck at like 23, 24 strength there. as a Falcon Knight. And, um... Yeah. You, you kind of need quite a bit of strength to one on the boss. But we'll probably be fine. We'll just lose a bit of time and take an extra turn, I think. Okay. Alright, this is one of the cooler strats in the run. It's very simple, but it's also kind of a clever use of, that I came up with of a gambit um, to ideally one turn this, but meaning we killed the boss on enemy phase at two range. But since this bio strength sucks, that sucks. That's not going to happen, and we'll have to kill him manually on turn two, which will waste some time, but it can't be helped. Let's do it. All right, so Byleth has the Galatea of Pixis Core, which we got from Ingrid's Paralog in the previous playthrough. Um, and it has the Gambit Lure, which flings well the targets Understood. backwards um, Let's clean up. to the unit user's other side. My strategy? And there's this giant bird in the way, on the, blocking our way to the boss. And this is a defeat boss map. So we're just going to use Lure to fling this bird to the left. <laughs> Kanto right up to two range of the boss, and hopefully we crit him, because he will attack us at two range, and we did not kill him. Hey, strength, right? All right, there we go. And paralog done. All right, time for a Rancor's paralog. Um, this is a route map, and probably one of the more fun ones, despite how volatile it kind of is, since there's a bunch of green units that kind of get in the way, sort of. But it's kind of fun, honestly. Okay. Uh, you love the dialogue in this map. Which one? The one we're doing right now, or the one I just did, Middle Guard's Paralog? Thank you. I actually haven't read the script for the Paralogs in so long. I haven't really read the story for this game in so long, so like, I am not the person to go to for lore. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Okay. Um, I want Yuritsa there, Middle Guard. Bernie. Wait, that's works already. Um Middle Guard, Sultan, QU, Blessed Lance, and then Hexlock Shield. Okay. Immortal Corpse. King of Lion Corpse. Uh this is really off. Alliance Alliance Wyvern Core. Um Okay. My Bloody path. I do this for all of us. That's on. my strategy. Okay. I just don't want to hit beat bows by the end of this playthrough, so I'm gonna have Violet equip a bow and try to get her bow rank up. Oh, she's nowhere close, actually. That's. I'm gonna have to summon her at least once, probably twice. Yeah, she's nowhere close to be. Understood. Oof. Let's clean up. Got us to bow pair. Break the barrier. I will prevail. What's the plan? Welcome. Crit. I forgot. Oh crap! I forgot to give her the ball knowledge gem. I took it off her last map. It's with inventory space. Oh well. Not really the end of the world. I just seminar twice, I guess. Oh, that's everything. Not worth going back for at this point. Okay. Um. Um. That's annoying. Do 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 do. Steady now. I'm good now. Do wow, perfect numbers. I can still take it out right now. Better than nothing. Uh, wait. Alright, right, right, right. Okay. Thank you. 
Whew, what a level. Doesn't really matter much, but hey. Makes you feel good. Fred, good job. Oh, I was hoping Eligar would get the kill, so she could use experience, but that's okay. I Petra could have died. I forgot the advantage. Oh well. So yeah, I want to hit B-Bows by the end of this playthrough so that I have access to the Brave Bow in Silver Snow. So. Okay. The Arrow of... From what I remember, the Arrow of Indra is, like, stupidly heavy, isn't it? Yeah, 14 weight. Yeah, okay, that is pretty heavy. It's excellent vengeance fodder. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, I never really realized that magic weapons ignore terrain until you, until Rengor mentioned it for the um, loot gang strat, which worked out, of course, because I actually used it, which is cool. Um, but... I mean, I guess, I guess in hindsight it's kind of obvious, but at the same time I just never thought about it. Um, Hubert, Sylvain there. Okay. Give this a shot. Yeah, Blue Gang was a thing. Slot didn't crit, so I ended up using Blue Gang. I do this for all of us. Right, are you the... Nice one shot. With the Gambit. I forgot to dismount. Um, Steady you... Now. Sacred Shield. Thanks. Let's clean up. Oh. I'll cut a distribution on Edelgard. Welcome for the Empire. Definitely don't need the speed wing. That's my strategy. What's the plan? I'm great. Alright, so we have a secondary objective in this map. This is a defeat all bosses map, by the way. You have to take out five bosses. So Felix, Rodrigue, Gwendol, Ingrid, and um, Cornelia. Where is it? Next level. But we also have a secondary objective because um, we want to be able to repair the Amir on the last map, and that requires a Garthian. And the golems that the golems drop for a gar theme whenever you break all their barriers. So I'm gonna be using ashes and dust on the golem nearby twice to get that. And we just killed Gwendol at range. Thanks for retribution. I took no damage because of sacred shield. Traps awaiting. Actually, maybe I'll keep Violet down here. She'll get, she'll probably get a bit more bow experience, maybe. Um, I mean, she's not in a rush to get, get go after Cornelia right now, so as long as, like, as long as I kill her next map, I mean next turn. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind. What's my strategy? Um, Oh, that's really gonna matter. I can get you back here, I guess. For the Empire. This might have been a bad idea. This might have been a bad idea. Not, I have a sword equipped too, so that kind of defeated the purpose of that. Tread carefully. Okay. 
At least we can use our full move, so. Yeah, just seminar. Just seminar. Um, this is the only month left in a run, so foreign land, foreign land and sky is on a twenty-six. I should have. I think I have space to seminar twice, so that's probably fine. Oh my god, it's snowing so much. Ugh. All right, about two more hours left in this run. <laughs> yeah, some people have made that mistake, understandably. I really should put down like the word parts before the one and two, but yeah. Oopsies. Okay. I'm really get twenty two left. May I ask you? 22 Sorry. left. I get two, four. Professor. Yeah, I don't need a seminar anymore. I'm gonna focus on using bows in the next map. I think I can mitigate the time loss that way. Yeah, let's play it safe. I'm confident that I would have been fine, but. I'm I don't think I want to really ruin this run <laughs> with a minor miscalculation. Lag. Oh my god, I regret this so badly. This loading is so bad. Three houses. I think I actually lost like a minute from that. Honest, like not even joking. Holy crap. Ugh. It's my I'm finding Actually, I forgot to mark this at 16 too. Um yeah, so is this gonna be number seven, Parallax Seventeen coming up? Why is it? Oh, I, I, it means what space? Yeah, I, I, what? Seven, I, 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 um, you want if you want to speed on this game, well, the fastest way to play this game is to have it on your Switch's internal memory, because that's still significantly faster than having it digitally on your SD card, which is way faster than having this on a cartridge. I think someone who tried doing a run. Okay, well let me get into that story later after I focus on this. Here it's uh you there you nope there you there you there. Is it? Yep. Okay. Okay, this chapter is pretty cool. This rat. Steady. All right, so we're gonna Sacred Shield our three OP units. Yuritsa, Edelgard, and Violet, so they take no ranged damage. Much Most importantly for, Bi for Edelgard, Retribution, everyone. Stride, everyone. I will Petra will smack this Swordmaster with the sword and hopefully not miss. Well, that works too, I guess. Well, that's less experience for Lysithia, I suppose. Lysithia normally finishes that guy off with Abraxas. Um, What's my strategy? Oh, that Swordmaster. And Axel Zoltan. What's the plan? Do, 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 do. So yeah, this is a this map is quote quote Petra arrive at the bottom right corner, which is why she's a flyer. But the game is literally lying to you. You have to get Petra towards into a trigger zone near the bottom right corner of the map. And then that changes the objective into route the map, route the map, and also spawns all the reinforcements. And we want to do that as soon as possible, which is why I warped Petra down here, attacked this cavalier, and now I'm going to cancel out after activating those reinforcements. So now I can start taking them out. Um, 
And if, and like, even if you actually get Petra to the escape tile, it does literally nothing. It is literally a normal tile, so the game is just bullshitting you. Okay, Raging Storm. This is going to be our third Raging Storm use. So we can go Blitz this Jerk here. And then cancel Edelgard towards the bottom left corner. While she's barely in range of all the other units, so she's going to wipe out the entire bottom right corner of the map. And that's where my third Raging Storm use goes. Yeah. Alright, uh... Gambit. So yeah, Yuritsa isn't... He's bulky, but he's not like super bulky, especially magically. So like, just charging him in here is just gonna get him killed, so I kinda have to be a little careful with him. And Edelgard kills everything. Strength, strength, strength. Strength in action. Ashes and Dust. Um, combat Art. Silver Bow. Um, Bernie gets a kill. Congrats. Oh, attack. Um, let's do this. Um, Petra has a full health, so she can also take out this bishop safely. And, and turn. I'm All right. Ah, uh, doesn't one shot. Okay, well, we'll just have to hope the brave axe hits twice. Nice. Okay. Okay, and we auto battle. Okay. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of that strat throughout throughout strat for this map. The only like iffy part is killing Catherine, but you usually have a bazillion other ways to burn RN, so it's not too much of an issue. So Hydrate. Uh I will hydrate once I I guess after this playthrough. I'll say Logs, how's it going? Yeah, the blue gang actually gave 100 hit. It was pretty impressive. So we take those. Oh, you're right. She would have one-shot it if I mounted. I forgot she gets extra strength from being mounted. Forgot about that. <clears throat> oh, well. We landed double 63s, which is translates to roughly 70, so hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, one playthrough left soon. Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> what is that chapter 18 split? The whole city's on fire. <laughs> okay, this is the one of the most sad strats in the run because if you couldn't tell from the split name, this is a defeat all bosses map and yeah. Uh, Hubert, Ignatz, and Shemir. Bernie here, Sylvain, where are you? Okay, Scythia, Yuritza, that's not Yuritza. Petra, that's correct. So, defeat all bosses. We have five, we are on um, we've got I do this for five bosses to kill. Dimitri, Mercedes, <laughs> Rhea, um, Let's make this quick. Sylvain's replacement, and Dudu. Strategy. I will prevail. Understood. What's the plan? Okay. Dance. Welcome. If we get a crit, that would be nice. If not, no biggie. That is the first time I've ever seen that crit. I've never seen that crit in all my practice, so I'm glad it happened in a run. Alright. So we're, we're just gonna um, raging storm a pulp random war soul then. <laughs> 
Cred. You will never. God dang it. Okay. That's just, that's gonna be a B. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, the Zelda doesn't have as much strength as she usually does, so that was a little pretty iffy. She usually, um, two shots with the Brave Axe if she doesn't crit, but, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is the most unreliable part of the map. This chapter strat, uh... Wait, she quadruples! Holy crap! <laughs> and then she double missed. She th missed three times! <laughs> okay. Change of plans. Since we, since the first That's two sets of arms are really bad, we'll just burn them all with this brave lance, like that. And so that burns all of the RNs that missed a lot. So now we should have a set, fresh set of RNs here. Okay, we're good. Oh, oops. And then the worst part, of, the saddest part of the run. I accidentally skipped the cuts animation. Oops. Oh well. But yeah, we have you're at to kill this half sister. Sad. Right, last map time. And then one more playthrough. Oh, two more hours. Yeah, Mercedes has like a bazillion obnoxious things for that map. Like she has her Raphael gem equipped, I think. So she has Povice and Aegis. Um, and she has Miracle. <laughs> so she's kind of a massive pain. <laughs> she's also a really huge massive pain in Chapter 7. Because it's like she's super passive. So she's, she's just going to keep running away from you and healing everyone else in Chapter 7. So, and even if, like, the game says she's going to attack you with the red lines, she won't, most of the time. Okay. Um, Sylvain. Um, Shamir, Ignatz. Is, thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Dude, dude, whole city's on fire. I'm great steady now. Welcome. I will come there. I owe you one. Thank you. For the Empire. What's the plan? Alright, final boss time. We just repaired our Amir, so we have 20 uses of it. Five raging storms. Raging Storm. Hey, Immaculate One, how's it going? Have a Raging Storm. Woo! Another one. Woo! Okay, come on. Crit! Crit! Again. Wrong time to crit, but oh well. God, yeah, this Edelgard's Guard strength kind of sucked, honestly. Speed is very good, though. Really good. 32 speed is really good, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so my, P my PB actually got the one turn, I think. <laughs> I think it got the one turn, because I got the luckiest two crits in a row there. So, yeah, time loss. But, oh well. Okay. Three down, one to go. All right, good night then, see you around. And thanks for the good luck. Quaddle guard. <laughs> Last time, 
White clouds. I did a name of on iron. Oh, oh well. Oh well. Sad. Oh well. Okay. Oh. Stay focused. All right. First level up coming up. Defense. Oh, yeah, she got a crit. Nice. Okay, strength. <sighs> okay, time to get some water. Alright, we got doored two out of three times. Is it gonna be three out of four times or two out of four times? We shall see. Probably three out of four. I hope you've had a chance. Oh, there we go. Good game. We okay. We have you met the folks from do 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 Please do 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 I hear you're invested. I appreciate your effort. <sighs> How are you? I'm the since. So you. You're the uh, No. The oh, I. Let in if we will. Stretch your wrists. Okay. Okay.
Obviously, getting into the dancer outfit is like not faster at all, but it's slower, but who cares? Swag. And yes, I, you can tell I practiced that menu way too many times. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you get Violet in the cute outfit? Okay, it's very worth. Okay. Last time we do chapter one today. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, wrong one. Perfect. Ah, there. Got this last night dealer. Um. Oh wait, wait, crap. Where is it? Sarah's holy monks. There it is. Welcome. Is that the thanks a bunch? Is that the thanks? Okay, so we're finally equipped. We've equipped the battalion we haven't used yet this entire playthrough, which is um, Eagle Wyvern Corps, and we're gonna train the crap out of it right now because it is by far the best flying battalion in the game for for my offense. Like the only thing, like it's just so good. You're gonna see what ridiculous bonus it gives. Like the only down, the only downside to it is that like, there is really no downside to it. Honestly, it's just so good. The only downside is that it's an A rank battalion, which is why we haven't been able to use it until now. But it's the battalion we got from Setus Paralog, so really good, extremely good battalion. You're a tough <laughs> Strength, please. Nice. Just look at those stats. Holy crap. Yeah, good level, though no strength. Um, not such a good level. Oh, the AI made Violet to use Assault Troop on Hanuman. Nice. Okay. But yeah, at cap, um, the Kugel Wyvern Core gives plus 7 attack, plus 15 hit, plus 15 crit, plus 5 avoid, and plus 4 protection? 5 protection? I think. So like for just for offense, it's just absurdly good, and it gives a little bit of nice defense and avoid too. It's not as much as like Immortal Corpse, but like the the big thing is the extra hit and crit, and and also the fact that it's a flying battalion. So anyone can anyone with a with a authority can use it. In other words, we're gonna keep it on bio for most of us, because it's hard to deny plus fifteen hit plus fifteen crit, and assault troop, one of the best gambits in the game. Very good, very good gambit. And we got lucky with Isethia, hooray. Yeah, I, I, just please. Hooray. Mm, leaving the charge. I have a I request. Have a request. Sylvain, one last time. What about Professor? 
Hey, I've been thinking. Well, I'll be there. Do, 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 do. Thanks for your help. All right, time to fight the lag. One last time. Well, in this menu. Have you not? Um, Sylvain, Authority, we've got like Sylvia early, so have her set to Faith. Flying, Flying, Authority, Faith, Armor, Flying, Flying. Okay. Tell me something. Uh I'm really getting Okay. In my deck. Okay. Ah. Top beast. Ah. <laughs> Stay okay. focused. So at this point, ranks, we've gotten all the ranks we care about on Violet now. So the only thing we really care about, if we can help it, mm -hmm. is to get more bow rank on her. The only reason is if we go from B to B+, plus, we'll get more bow prowess, which is more hit, avoid, and crit avoid. But like, it's not really a too big of a deal. Enough. We just don't have anything better to really focus on at this point, so... Enough. There's a strength point. <laughs> nice. Broken bow height. Not so good not such a good level though. Okay. In light, it starts one step is uh -huh. right. Do do do. Okay, so out of our ha current house, we're gonna keep only Ferdinand von Eyre, Kaspar, and Linhart around because we want we need to do all of their paralogs basically in part two. Um, we're gonna kill everyone else off. Well, not Sylvain or Lysithia, of course, but yeah. Okay, uh, you, you, you. you. Wait, no, that's wrong. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's correct. Stay focused. As you wish. That's my cue. I will prevail. Oh, not strength, but still a good level. Stay focused. No. 
we go. Three. Thanks, Legrand Grand, or the Nerd Nerd. Shout out to Legrand Grand, cool guy. Runs a little bit of Fire Emblem. He's been doing a um, video series on his on um, Fire Emblem Six Binding Blade, LTC, um, commentated. So highly recommend checking that out. And also runs a lot of the Xenoblade series, cool series. Xenoblade Definitive Edition on Switch is like legitimately one of my favorite games that's of all time, honestly. <laughs> Definitely like top three Switch games I've ever played, for me personally. Do you know if Corporal can use Forsetti if Lewinus is dead? For, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, it can't be his dad though, can he? Corporal's always gonna be um son of Claude, I think. Always, I think. I could be wrong though. Okay, uh, be authority. Let's replenish. Mm. I have a favor to ask. No, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, actually, no, that's not the case. Okay. Um, wait, where are you? There you are. Thank you. In the world, if you. Okay, wooden flask. Oh, uh, no idea. Okay. Hey. I can't believe it. Uh, um, I'd also like. Also okay, um, big knots. Great authority, Sylvain, Lance writing. <clears throat> So I'm sending Sylvain to Lance on Riding now, because I actually want to make him a Paladin for part two. Because, well, Paladin's a really good class. Um, eight move, grounded battalions, eight move dancer, and also with Lance Fair, so you can help out quite a bit in the rock chapters coming up in part two. Professor. Okay. Got it. Sim got it. I think I so vain, offer core volunteers, Ferdinand von Iron Kingdom archers. Strength? Nice. Strength and defense. Strength in action. Uh, we're probably gonna miss out on secret bug. Oh well. Yep, lost it. Oh. 
Okay. <clears throat> Chapter 4. It's about an hour and a half left in this run. And then I'm probably not touching this category again, because I put up way too much time into it. <laughs> uh, crit knots. Low-key, I feel like Ignaz is one of the most underrated units in this game. Honestly. I mean, I, he was definitely a lot more underrated early on when people didn't really value his personal skill of hit plus 20 as much. People do nowadays, but I do think he's still... I do think he's a very good unit. Just very good slash flexible-ish unit, I guess. Because, like, worst case scenario, if you never even train him, he's still... He's very solid as a support unit. But if you do train him, he's very solid as a sniper and doing his job, which is deleting a unit with a bow. And he's fantastic at that. Because he has pretty much the perfect stat build for being a sniper, which is hit and crit, basically. <laughs> and plus Let hit plus ask. 20. Professor? In light, it's stuck. Let's put this. It's all because it's fun. Uh -huh. Of course, for the purpose of the speedrun, he's only used as a support unit, but, you know. Scythia, be faith. Um, Ignatz, Authority. But monsters get S plus because we're ahead on the car. Um Scythia, Ignatz, Authority only. Okay. Okay, Ignatz, uh oh. Sylvain, or Sylvain, um, you, you, you. Should I BM? Should I BM? Should I just waste some time to BM? Let's do it. Let's. I'm BMing. <laughs> okay. Um. BM. BM. You'll see what I mean by that. I will prevail. Thank you. Ready anytime. Thank you. Stay focused. <laughs> And you got a good level out, out of it. That was pretty worth. Just for that level alone. <laughs> Bad on it. I'm on it. Oh yeah, I kinda wanted an iron bow too. Um, I think. Maybe I gave him myself an extra iron bow when I didn't need it. I haven't been keeping I haven't been keeping track of my inventory properly. Yeah, okay. Top. I... My efforts. How long? As long as it... I think I've. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, um, like Sophia Ignatz. There we go. That should be it. Wait. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Stay focused. Stay focused. Don't get distracted with social media. Even though I have time to do it. Ready anytime. Rally up. Leave it to me. Warp up. Hope. Okay, well. I'm on it. Okay, that helped a lot. That level I made up for the previous one. Well done. Okay. Speedy, I guess. Speedy Byleth. Okay. So as usual, since we have Sylvain on our party, as usual, we have the option to um We have the option to give or not give the Lancer Ruin to Rhea. Okay, giving, not, keeping it for ourselves will let us use the Lance of Ruin, but then we watch a cutscene where Sylvain like, takes it with him and costs things a good chunk of seconds. Um, we're going to give it to Rhea, not only because we don't want to have a cutscene, but be one, because we want support points with her so we can get her Paralog, and two, we're going to get the Lance of Ruin anyways, since we're, this is a route where we're doing Sylvain's Paralog. And if you do Sylvain's Paralog and you didn't get the Lance of Ruin, you'll get it from that Paralog, regardless. So... Yep. So best to just give it to Rhea. Sophia, Ignatz. Blah. Maybe I can cut this up 720, maybe? Probably, we'll see. Professor. In light? I'm really getting... Okay, uh, Ignaz, I said the, uh, <clears throat> let's do this. Time to BM the Black Knight. Leave it to me. Bop him again. Stay focused. Hope. Okay, defense is good. That strength could be better. Falling behind as usual. But it's not, it's, I mean, the strength is acceptable for now. It's below average, but it's not terrible, like, previous run, so. <laughs> yep. Oh, right. Cut. Unsimple cutscene. Okay. Gonna take a quick yes. standing break. I see. You know? I see. <clears throat> Alright, last time we're doing chapter 7. Here we go. Well, after it loads. Ugh, almost done. A bit over an hour left. An hour and a half, more like. Thank you. 
Okay. Hey, Emily. How's it going? Professor. I'm getting in light, not a to as long as it makes I feel like uh -huh. Okay. Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Let's go. Thankfully, we don't care about supports anymore, besides Reyes. Okay, keep all Ignots, replenish our battalions. Okay. Do, 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 welcome. Come back. Well. Steel shields, elixirs, water. Okay, I'm not, this is the last time we're gonna see Archer Viola, so get ready to say goodbye to her. The, I will prevail. Thanks. Ready anytime. Stay focused. Um. Six out of 19 strength. Per falling behind pretty badly right now. That's less than a third. It's a good thing we got two energy drops in this route. There we go. That's a strength point. Um, well done. That one's probably gonna attack Ignaz, which is fine. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's do this then. This one, that one might go around. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that red cavalier. It's down there. Okay. Um. Thank you. Up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. Okay, Agro Felix. And let's just kill him off. Okay, wrong unit. Stay focused. Um. By the way, archers have bow range plus one. That applies to Ballista too. If you were not an archer. You cannot reach Felix from with the Ballista. So, yep. So you get plus one range off of Ballista. Ready anytime. If you're an archer. So pretty cool. Do 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 Oh, Claude, where are you going? Much needed. Oh, gonna have to chase him down. Oh yeah, that's that's an issue. Um well done. That's really annoying. Rip a lot of time. Uh if I can get him. Dang it. I got it! <laughs> I critted him! Yes! <laughs> nice. Worth. Worth. I think that I what did it say? Like 16% crit? No, that was a really clutch clip. He could have lost, cost me a lot more time than that. That could have been so much worse.
Because I could not catch up to him. We had the same movement, so I had no way of ca actually catching up to him. There is a magical Sorry. solution. Professor. So we're going to make a visit to the monastery because I believe this is the last possible month to get a C support with Rhea. Um, there is a time limit on it. I don't remember which chapter is the last possible chapter. I think it's this one. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be doing this monastery visit at this point. Okay, so fishing pond. And since we're here anyways, we're going to go ahead and recruit Ash. How much charm do we have? 19. Okay, we're more than okay. We need 15 charm to recruit him, 12 with a C support. I'm sure I'm which is why we got a C support with him, to just make sure we ha we can recruit him. Because I have seen Violet be like less than 15 charm, which is really rare, but it's happened like twice. So, yeah. Okay. Free Owl Feather up here. Just chill with Gerald a bit. Good dad. I have a request. Thanks. Some gifts from him. <clears throat> Quick quest. We get three gifts, and we don't really have anyone we care about to give gifts to except for Rhea. So, which is convenient. Hi. I agree. I agree. I agree. Oh. oh. How much magic do I have? 15. Okay, we're good. Um, Goals. Ash. Um, support. Well. Okay. So we're already at 15 magic, which is fine as well. We need 15 magic to recruit Mercedes, 12 with a C support, which we have. So we're fine. We don't have to worry about that. Um, I, I was thinking about re recruiting Mercedes because um, I was concerned about it because I just gave the armored bear stuffy to Rhea when I was not supposed to. That's supposed to be saved for Mercedes in case I don't have 12 magic. <laughs> Because if I don't have 12 magic, then I have a backup route where I give her enough gifts to bump her up to a C plus support, and that lowers the requirement down to 10 magic. But we're at 15, so we're more than okay. We are more than okay. Do, do. What is Let's go. Last time we're doing this. I will prevail. Back to I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Not the best level up out there. I mean, it's a good level, but it's not strength. That's the 18th chapter this time in this run where we've seen the Donkey Kong. Okay, we're at sub 720 pace. Let's keep it up.
Okay, just skip straight to the mission. Professor, is that is that really it? Professor. So yeah, um, if it wasn't obvious, we have Ash recruited because we haven't done his paralog yet. So we're, we we're just gonna do his paralog, and it's best to do his paralog in this route because this is the route where we get the most use out of the shoes of the wind, which is plus one move. On Byleth. And similarly, we need to recruit Mercedes for her paralog as well. Okay, we got Mercedes. It's random between... I think it's random whether you get Mercedes or Ash there, because, well, we have an equal number of supports with both of them, so they're basically tied with... Well, who's more, who I'm more... who I'm closer with. That I can date. <laughs> okay. Um, skip preps. I will prevail. I Who is he? I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Thank you. Stay focused. Now we're gonna start using a Brave Bow more, just because we don't have that many Brave Lance uses. Ready anytime. Rally up. Thank you. I'm on He's it. He's on it. Much needed. I actually kind of want to heal you. Oh, you don't need healing. Never mind. Um, Gam rally, gambit. Um, blessed lance. Do 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 do. Oh god, what happened to your strength? I mean, it's not as bad as the previous Byleth, but still. Thanks, Daryl, for not dying. It's, it's game over if he dies in this map. Which is really dumb because he will he will get himself killed. He, he will attack if he has a chance of dying still, which is really stupid. Oh wait, he did die, so that's a game over. Spoiler alert. Okay. Okay. Definitely using the energy drop immediately. I mean, I want to use one on Byleth. I don't know if I'll use a second one on her. I probably will, honestly. Um, I usually I usually use the second energy drop on Catherine because that energy drop guarantees that Catherine only needs one crit for the last boss as opposed to two. But with how this Violet Strength hasn't been doing too hot, I'll probably get more use out of giving her the second energy drop as well. We'll see though. We'll see how she levels. Yeah, that is the last time we'll. We can press F in the chat for um, Professor? that yeah. at least. As long as it, I feel like. Uh -huh. Almost done. Almost done. Just another hour left. We got this. We got this. I will prevail. 
Thank you. Ready anytime. Well done. I am Ferdinand. Stay focused. I'm on it. Still no strength. We've gained eight points of strength up so far. Ugh. All right, parallel time coming up. But before we start the paralogs, we're gonna go on what is likely our, what I think is our last major explore session. And so we're just gonna have a massive recruitment party. Basically, we're gonna recruit a bunch of girls who are gonna be destroying these route chapters. So like the, the paralogs coming up are all route maps and it's, the girls are gonna be carrying hard until Seth joins and Seth and it's basically gonna be Seth and the ladies, pretty much. So girl power. A new okay. Professor. Hmm? Ah, come on. Been... So Mercedes, recruiter. Oh, I, I can just. What? I need twelve magic with a C support, which we're been... good. We're, we're good on. Good. Thirteen decks so to recruit was... Ingrid. We're good on that. We don't strictly need Ingrid because we are, we've already done her paralog, but she's really easy to recruit and she comes as a free flyer. So she's just very valuable. And again, she has really good base stats if you recruit her out of house just due to the fact that she gets auto levels off of the advanced enemy exclusive advanced Pegasus Knight class. So her strength is still like just average or mediocre, but it, her, those growth rates help a lot, especially with her bulk. Shamir, Bo. Leone, writing, you can read, you, okay, and then. Okay, I'm Ingrid, S Lance, C Authority. Okay, we're good. I'm getting so yeah, we recruited Mercedes, Ingrid, Leone, and Shamir. Um, Leone we recruit because we need to, we still need to do her paralogue in part two um, with Linhart. But Leone also joins as a Cavalier, and the enemy Cavalier class has really busted growth rates as well. So Leone's space stats are like all in the 20s, which is ridiculous at this point in the game. So she's gonna just be she's just gonna be very valuable as well for the route maps coming up. And then Shamir, Shamir. So. Really getting. I don't think there's a reason to. Give her, I don't think we ever need to give her a reason for recruiting or using her. <laughs> okay, um... Forgotten... The Forgotten, more like the females. Okay. After doing three full playthroughs with Sylvain in our party, using him as our dancer, and still using him as our dancer in this playthrough, we're finally doing his paralogue. Because, again, this is the best time to do it since we have so many tools for routing the map quickly. Just due to the nature of how recruiting Leone yes, and Ingrid lines up really nicely. So. This is probably one of my favorite maps in the game, honestly. Like, I, I just like the incentive behind it. The map itself, how you have to kind of spread out your units to do it efficiently, how you're given an incentive to go fast, and how it's, like, not super cheesable. I think it's one of the better route maps in the, in the series, personally. And... Speed on strat, as, as expected, is also pretty fun. Okay, um, so you, 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 you. Okay. Okay, Shamir, Silverbow, Leone, um, Silverlance, Krilla Lance, you, you, Torch, Steel Shield. Okay, um, 
Starting blow for what? Swordbreaker, Fioni, um, remove the bow stuff, Shamir, Crits, Ingrid, Pegasus Co., Leone, Gerald Mercs, Shamir, King of Cavalry. What should we get? Alright, that went alright. Stay focused. Um, I have an iron bow? I do have the iron bow. Okay, good. Ready. Okay. 85 gambit. Thanks for hitting. To work. Wait, so we're up? Okay, so we're up. Ready anytime. Shimmy and just got buffed. Plus four attack right now. So, yeah. Thanks for your personal skill. Okay. I'm on it. Um, I am Ferdinand Von Eyre. Retribution Violet. Let's get to it. I need to her shield so she can double everything. Thank Chance. you. Chance. Go to Archer. <laughs> Upper left corner. Fun fact, we did not use Stride at all this map. There isn't really much reason for reason to use it, because we don't really need the mobility as badly. Okay, um Leone. Please end this gambit. Um Silver Lance. Thank you. Okay. Do 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 and everything dies. Um. Boop. Yeah, 22 strength, 20 speed, 21 dex. Holy crap, 19 defense, and all of that just went up by one. <laughs> Alright, charge, and we just spam auto battle. Because those thieves in the middle, they do not attack you, so you have to spend a player face to kill each of them. And the best way to do it is just to spam auto battle. My one left, I think. Okay, GG. That's 18. 18 paralogs down. Okay. Now we do Ash's paralog. And by extension, Catherine's too. And we got the Lance of Ruin, which we're gonna give to Ingrid to compensate for her average strength. There you go. So yeah, the unfortunate thing about this map, this strat, I mean, I'm really proud of the speedrun strat for this map, but the unfortunate thing is you're just not gonna see what happens because everything is in a fog of war. It's like, even by black screen standard, you're just not gonna see anything that happens because you just can't see any of the enemies. Basically, there's a bunch of assassins in the upper left corner. Violet will kill everything up there with Swordbreaker and a Lance. Um, Catherine will kill the Armor Knights in the upper right corner. Shamir snipes the Pegasus Knights in the right side. Um, Ingrid kills all the bishops in the le lower left area by being retributioned. And Leone is kind of the star. She kills all the Cavaliers in the bottom right corner because her base stats are ridiculous. Okay. And there's a reason I gave her the Steel Shield. Um, there's a good reason I gave her the Steel Shield. And you'll see why. Um, sort of, I guess. Now let's just use it. Um, Iron Lance. Talisman. Pomegranate. Nope. Okay, Ingrid. That's a ruin. And that should be everything. So yeah. Um, with a steel shield, Leone has exactly... Base Leone has exactly enough defense to take no damage from all the cavalry with just the seal shield. That's exactly well, So, oh, this is a problem. Ready Actually, yeah, I can fix it, I think. I'm good now. I'm on it. I can fix it, yeah, okay. This should be fine, so I think. I, Ignatz on Shimera's swap right now, but I'll I think it's fine. To work. Okay, cool there. Um, I am Ferdinand Von Eyre. Thank you. Ready. Hope. I mean, Ingrid's gonna cancel next to a boss. A boss step right there. Um, Violet's gonna Stay go ahead focused. and just kill everything up here with an Iron Lance and Swordbreaker. And then Leon. Ash needs to I'll move here. Leone's gonna. After Leone just torched, she's gonna pass the torch over to Ash, literally. And just kill everything here and take literally zero damage from all these Cavaliers. And we just watch everyone gain level ups. And hopefully Shamir doesn't die. Shamir can die at base if she gets hit by every pack of this night. Which is really rare, because they all have like 20 hit on her, which translates to less than 10%. Okay. Torch, auto battle. Okay, done. 
So yeah, pretty much everyone was routed at that point, except for like the boss, the boss of each area. Which is what the auto battle was for, so. Yep. And I needed to torch so Shamir can see the last boss in the, in the right area. So the auto battle will take care of it. But yeah, that's Ash's Paralogue. Those two Paralogues are among my favorite speedrun. They're pretty satisfying route maps to do. There's like a good chunk of setup and then it just like that. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so close to the end, less than an hour left. All right, let's go. One hour left. One hour left. Okay, so vein. Bottom right corner. Choose of the wind. Secret book. And okay. The shoes of the wind makes it so that we don't need to do any rescue or warp setup. Because we don't really need to um stride our dancer to get by the great piece because Bowser has enough move now. So we can just do that, have Sylvain move down with his four move, but Baz can reach Edelgard at two range, and finish her off with the Brave Bow. Standing break because unskippable cutscenes hype. To keep that, come. It'll get the what if you if I I am professor. Okay, pretty lengthy menu coming up here. We just got Cyril, Catherine, and Sedith in our party. Um, two of these will be pretty useful. One of them will be not very useful. Take a wild guess. Okay, Catherine, um, writing, authority, Sedith, um, Sedith, axe only. Cyril, rusted bow. Catherine, already used energy drop, so crit ring. Sedith, um... Speed carrot. Um, water dragon sign, where is it? Seteth, uh, sword, off rally, sword breaker, and then Sylvain, strikes. Caspar has smite, good. And then battalions, immortal corpse. Um, Tia, remove battalion, skip. Okay, that menu went fine. Not amazing, but it was fine. I'd like to. I. Ah, oh, I was supposed to give the middle answer. Oops. Oh well. Professor. Professor. I'm getting there. I can. Okay. Let's quick explore. For the last time we're gonna do, you visit the new game plus shop. Dex plus. Get that for Dex plus four. Get this for weight minus three. And then as much axe rank as possible. Okay.
Monster Chuck and uncross my legs. Thank you for that reminder, stupid Pokey Nerd. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, six out of ten, that's correct. Shamir needs to go closer, and that's all I need to do, I think. I have Okay, let's do this. To work. I'm great at us away. Ready when you are. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. Okay, so we just moved Violet into range to aggro Edelgard, so Edelgard's gonna start moving towards us. That's intended, that's intended. We want to kill them off because they're useless now, because they waste time. Report. Okay. Okay, bye. And then... Rainbow. Rainbow! There we go. Okay, time for part two. Let's go. Uh, how many points do you need to pay for me to do a run with the map rotate at a 45 degree angle? Um, my answer to that is not enough. <laughs> not enough. But I approve of the, I both approve and disapprove of the suggestion. <laughs> okay. All right. Hunting by Daybreak, or rather Hunting by Swordbreaker, which Byleth and Sedith both have Swordbreaker equipped, so they're going to have 100 hit on everything. Hooray. And Sedith's kind of OP because he has high Axe Prowess, although that's irrelevant for this map because he's going to use an Iron Lance. Weight minus 3 and Dex plus 4 as well, so that's all nice and dandy. So plus four hits and more speed. Okay. What's my strategy? Curve shot. Uh, I need to get another iron bow out. Um. Oh. Guide me well. Do 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 I'll use So Violet has gained um ten points of speed out of over thirty levels. Oof. Yeah, glad I used the second energy drop on her. She needed it, because she's still not even at average with that. I think. Violet can reach Falardo no matter where he spawns. Okay, and bye. Okay, so that's she's gained 10 strength out of 31 levels, so that's bad. That's five around five lower than average. So even with the two energy drops, she's one below average. <laughs> Pretty bad. Not terrible. I mean, thankfully we ha we were able to use a second energy drop on her to help really help out. So. Wasn't really too much of a deal breaker. Okay. Where are you? Uh, Dorky. 
Shamir, take the blessed bow. Come on. Um, Sedith, store all. Take the elixir and the speed ring. And Ingrid, the knowledge gem. Again, Sedith, take the rusty bow. 91%. Hey, Linhart, how much magic do you have? 15. Oh, really? Linhart, please. He's one off from 16. You have to waste time certifying him as a bishop. Boo. Rip time. Rip time. Bye. Okay, Sylvain, Paladin. And like Scythia has 25 hash. Okay, we're fine. Um, I think I was gonna do. Oh right, okay, okay. Caspar's middle. Mercedes is bottom. I have everyone else memorized. Ignatz is middle. Okay. Professor. We're gonna get more gold questions, which is why, again, you want to have as few units on your team as possible, because. That, just co that costs you time. And this too. <laughs> uh, welcome to Three Houses Speedrunning, where you want to be the worst possible teacher. It's with. Looks like I'm getting it. <sighs> okay. Set it in Shamir. Wow, I just like fat fingered so many buttons there. Okay, Ingrid. What? Um, Levin Sword. Is, is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Set um, Silver Axe. Brave Axe, Sword Axe, Hammer. Thanks a bunch. Is that, is that, thanks a bunch. Okay. Report. <laughs> What's my strategy? Oh wait, who's right at B plus B plus plus? Okay. Let's clean up. Guide me well. Don't need to really worry about bow rank anymore. <laughs> no points. Strength, deck, speed. Okay, you take those. What? Strength, deck, speed. Good strength. So, same deal. Get the green unit to the bottom right corner. ASAP, as usual. Same thing, same thing, yada yada yada. And then after you get to do that, get in front of Randolph, aggro him, finish the boss. I can Yay, strengthen Dex. Thank you! There's good level. Can you like get more strength, please? Thanks. Your strength growth is 55% now, please. It's 55%. Plus 10% from the Falcon Knight class.
Okay. Caspar middle, Mercedes is bottom. I'd like to bottom. Professor. This will help. So Catherine's gonna be handy for a, a few chapters, for d some like defeat boss chapters, for the last map, for some route maps as well. I have her goal set to authority and writing. Writing so she gets dex plus four, and authority so she can hit C authority eventually, which will let her use the King of Lion Corpse Battalion, which is plus 10 attack, plus 15 crit, I think. Very powerful battalion. And like, I, and like, I could technically try to set her to solo swords, but with off of goals only, she it's impossible for her to hit S swords for crit plus 10. So getting dex plus four and enough um, authority for King of Lion Corps is better than that anyways. So. Okay. So Bane, Shamir, um, top. Okay. Let's go. I'm still hyper. Let's go. Guide me well. What's the plan? Not have a... Oh, why don't you have an Iron Lance? What's my strategy? That's awkward. Okay, well, it's... Give one to you now. He's supposed to have an Iron Lance, but I must have, like, tossed it away on accident. Let's do that before I forget, at some point. Let's clean up. I owe you. Yeah, prefer using Sedith over Byleth because he has a convenient camera and he just starts closer than Byleth. Quite a bit closer, so it's more convenient. Okay. Two, par two more paralogs coming up soon. Mercedes's and Rhea's. This is the last opportunity to... This is the last month possible to do Merce Mercedes's paralog. If this was Verdant Wind or Azure Moon, then you would also have the month after this available. But since this is Silver Snow, that just literally skips month four because game. You, this is the last month. Month three is the last month you have available to do Mercedes's paralog. So 29th. Um, ideally, Leone will hit B plus B writing, and then so I, I'll have a 100% certification rate for Paladin because I want her to become a Paladin as well. For plus, primarily for Lance Fair, it's not strictly required, but it, it just makes things a lot more reliable and consistent. So, which is why I haven't stuck to solo writing this entire time. Okay. I'll do my. Now to keep this will help. Okay. Yoni Paladin. Okay, one hundred percent. Cool. Da -na -na -na. Oh. Mm. The face beneath. This one's quick. Well, the conversation. The paralogue itself is a route map. A pretty big one. And it's a more complicated one, too, because there are monsters to kill, and you can't just cheese monsters on a route map because they have multiple health bars. Um, so we're going to be spreading out quite a few units. Basically, Byleth, Ingrid, and Seth are going to be carrying pretty hard. Um, Ingrid. Oh, wait. I forgot about this. Almost forgot. There we go. Should be good. Okay, let's do this. Come at me. Okay, let's so Shamir's gonna have the blessed play equipped and stride up all all of our flyers and dancers. Ready for it. Retribution. Set it in Violet. The only's gonna take care of the heroes back here. 
Holy crit. He didn't, but that's okay. Um, What's my strategy? And Violet's gonna start working on this monster here, breaking the barrier and destroying the first health bar. Ready Ingrid has 11 are. swords, so she'll start. She can't one round these reliably, but she eventually will two round them consistently, well. so that works. Finish off that second health bar. Is that it? Have. Okay, um, Ignatz is gonna go up and buff Sedith, because he's gonna be doing a lot of the most work What's coming up soon. Sylvain, dance. Thank you. Finish this monster. Take out that sniper. So, this chapter is a little. was interesting to route, because all of the Dark Mages have Banshee, which reduces your movement if you get hit by it. So, I do not want to get hit by it at all, of course, that ruins the strat. So I kind of have to come up with ways to avoid it if possible. So what I'm doing with Byleth here is dismounting her, and I'm going to go ahead and gambit this jerk. You kill it, while also um, freezing that sniper in place so you can't go after Sedith or Ingrid. Destroy this barrier, because it's weak to axes. One health bar down, and Sedith will kill everything in the upper right corner. And then... Cast one to move one right, out of range of that monster, and we end turn. And a lot of stuff died. Okay. Good level. Hope. What's a strength stat? I have no idea. Okay. Versetus is gonna contribute and kill Set Setus, because he's taking a bit of a beating. I have faith. Just enough range to reach and kill this guy while also wearing the wolf. Don't need to move you. Okay, um. Shamir's gonna go ahead and finish off the health bar with a curve shot blessed bow. Sylvain's gonna contribute offensively. With the swift strikes. I meant to use swift strikes, but that works too. And then Catherine finishes. Never doubted. And then that's it. Okay. That should be down to the end Just like that. GG. Pretty proud of that strat, honestly. Sometimes a uh, Dark Knight will not go after Ingrid instead of Byleth, which is not as good. But if he does, then he's in the forest, and Ingrid can just use assembly to pull him out of the forest and then finish him off on enemy phase with the Lance of Ruin. So it works out as a back if I have to do that. Okay. Here you go. And Rhea's Paralog. This Paralog requires a C support with Rhea. Dear child, I, I have a face. Judge, I know. If you and. Well, you should. Okay, and this is a defeat all bosses map, although it's kind of a not very interesting one because the three other bosses are just bunched together, so you can just cheese them with the gambit. <laughs> um, since Caspar and Mercedes are done, we just did their paralog, they have no reason to be in our party anymore. So this map is perfect for taking care of them, unfortunately. Okay, um, ditch the iron weapons, Raphael gem, pure water, and a longbow. Okay. And Caspar has been training in armor this entire time just for this one smite. What's there we go. Strategy? That's his contribution. Gambit. That's one boss down, three to go. Congratulations on actually getting strength. Wow, I didn't know it was possible. He's okay, um... At your service. Equip the Rusted Bow. If Violet took a beating, then I would heal her with Physic. But I don't need to, so... Or it goes this way. F. F. Gambit. Go in between them. Now they all die. This Byleth's strength is just oof. 
Just oof. She's got what? 29 strength? She's gained 2 from Falcon Knight and 4 from Energy Drops. So... 23 strength. That means she's gained 10 points of strength out of over 30 levels. Total. Ow. Okay. Time for the bridge map. This. All right, defeat all bosses map. For once, we don't have to kill Ferdinand von Eyre. Hooray. Okay. And this is, I think, the last lengthy menu I'm going to be doing. So I kind of have to prepare myself mentally. Um, watch dance. Okay. Shimmer Ignatz. Ooh. Swordbreaker, Darting Blow. Um, Sedith, Lance Prowess, Swordbreaker, um, Ingrid, Catherine. Okay. Um, Byleth, Kikol, Ingrid, Immortal Corpse, Lion Corpse, Seros Holy Monks, and that should be it. Alright. I'm great. Guide me well. Hope ready for some fun dancing shenanigans. And there's me up using the canto bug to avoid a canto animation. Thank you, game, for being well programmed. What's the plan? What's my strategy? Steady right. now. Dance one. Appreciate it. Dance two. Have a brave lance in the face. Yeah, oh my god, that's 10 strength out of almost 40 levels. Holy shit, Violet. Why are you. you yeah, she's not like terribly, terribly good, yeah. but still. Not very good. I mean, her strength just caught up because I gave her over six. Yeah. Four, sta four stat boosters. I mean, four strengths, four points of strength worth of stat boosters. Like, Alright. Got it. But yeah, no. Cool scrap. Just a smooth double group dance. Kill everyone. With really good units. Okay, and we just missed month four. Month four. Because, and guess what? Nobody gains any experience during that month. Because, good game. Okay, so taking Fort Mercius is coming up. We just don't do anything special for that. Um, yeah, we just skip preps, do it, and we're in infiltration. We need to move units around. Okay. So if nothing special. Until the paralogs again. The last two. Okay. <sighs> Another game. Still a long. This will be. There is all. This will help. Almost done. Almost done.
steady now. Much needs what's clean up. Appreciate. What's my strategy? What's the plan? Hey, Donkey Kong. Bye. Get some strength, please. Nope. Oh, whoops, forgot to split. All right, so this is the last time we, we're going to see the Dodge King, finally. So, 22 maps. About one-fourth of the game, we, we've encountered the Donkey Kong. Not a repetitive... What's it called? Antagonist at all. Nope. That's an entire route's worth of chapters, FYI. 22 chapters with the Dodge King. Because it's three houses. Okay. End bar infiltration. I'm starting to just kind of go a little crazy just from playing this game for almost seven hours. I have to. Are you? But I'm almost done. Just gotta trudge through. Just trudge through. Oh, we missed out on a week of instructs, by the way, because of the Monday mission mug. Mi Monday mission bug. So, yep. Hooray. Practice. So Ingrid just learned Looks Landsfair like just in time. Well, not just in time. She She's going to want it for the Paralogs coming up. She really wants the extra plus five attack with Lances. Okay. Oh, good evening. It's evening already. Getting to the end. Just gotta hold on. Just gotta hold on. Okay, Ferdinand von Ayer, Shamir, Sylvain, that needs to be Ignatz. Okay. It appears ready for anything. You're a bit let's clean up. I'm Subscribe, ready retribution. Thank you. What's my strategy? Oh. Nice. Okay. Cool. Plus 40 of Voitile? No problem. Get Strength Point? Much, very much a problem, apparently. With 55% growth. The plan. Well done. Um, sort of crater, pure water. Retribution? Bye. Kind of want to calculate this now. So, for simplicity's sake, I'll calculate this with a 50% strength growth because it's been 45% for about half the run and a 55% for a half the run again. So, 0.5, we've done around 40 level ups. Uh, and the chances of gaining 11 points of strength or less is 0.3% chance. Cool. Getting a pilot this strength screwed or worse is a 0.3% chance of happening. Woohoo. Good pilot. I mean, she doesn't look that screwed because I gave her literally four points, four points of strength from stat boosters to make up for it. And that still didn't make up for it, FYI. So, yeah. Well, one run's gonna have a really strength screwed pilot, so it is what it is. Steady now. At least it's the one where we get two energy drops to mitigate it a lot. I'm grateful. What's my strategy? What's the plan? I'm awake. <coughs> I mean, I've gotten screwed, um, speed screwed files all over the place too, but speed isn't anywhere near as important as strength, really, so. 
Hey, still no strength. Cool. Like, not to toot my own horn or anything, but pretty much everyone in chat is. I don't think anyone in chat is ever in a position to complain about bad filers in front of me. <laughs> ever. No offense, but yeah. <laughs> the only person who's allowed to complain is Claris and um, Biospark. Because Biospark got a Spila so strength screw that she literally gained strength from the certification into the Enlightened One in one speedrun. Yes, that means gaining three or less strength out of over 20 levels. <laughs> that meant when she became the Enlightened One, she had less than 17 strength. When her strength base is 13. So, nobody's allowed to complain about bad violence in front of me. <laughs> okay, I'm half joking. But yeah, no, like the more you run the game, the more often you're going to see like ridiculous stats courage. One of my favorites is Dimitri. So my Dimitri, um, in, a, in one speed run with Azure Moon, my Dimitri gained luck when he certified into the Great Lord class. Um, from the High Lord into the Great Lord. So what does what does that mean? So the Great the High Lord class has a base luck of nine. So his luck stat went up to nine as a level one unit during time skip. And then he gained 19 levels on top of that. The base luck of the hot Great Lord class is 10. That meant for him to gain luck from that certification, he had to gain literally zero luck points out of all of those levels. And that happened. It was glorious. It was glorious. So he gained, no, he gained zero luck levels out of about, he gained zero luck levels out of roughly 30 levels. So that was pretty fun. It was pretty mean-tastic. I mean, obviously it's not like he's like super important. Actually, no, it's because of that he got critted in chapter 14 because bad luck, but yeah. Obviously it's like nowhere near as like important as strength, courage, but I thought it was still funny to point out because, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, two parallels left. This is a really big route map and the last one route map in the game that we're doing. So, route it we shall. This is a really huge map. Uh, it's a huge map. But there's like four segments of the map, and two of them retreat if you take out the respective boss, which is convenient. Um, replenish battalions. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Okay, well, let's stride up first. And we don't really have any, enough units to retribution pile well up, so she's actually going to be using a longbow so she can counterattack three range, three range units. Ignatz is going to go ahead and rally Ingrid up, and thanks to Lance Fair and the rally, Ingrid is guaranteed to one shot the boss coming up here. Ready for anything. So we're going to dance What's for her with Sylvain. Sylvain. And then, Dance of Ruin, Night Kneeler, one shot. Boop, 100 hit. And everyone in the bottom right area of the map disappears because we killed the boss, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Set up next, he's gonna kill this boss here. And that wipes out this portion of the map. Unfortunately, that's it. We can't really do this for the other two corners of the map, so we do have to route them actually. Okay. Um, I'll crush, we'll crush them, them all. all. She'll take care of the top middle portion. I'm Leone's gonna go ahead and take care of this portion up here. The two Wyvern Riders, she needs 16 speed to double them. She does, with the steel shield, good. My and then we're gonna go ahead and equip a longbow. And then Gambit, kill that sniper. Put her in three range of the boss up there. And she has a longbow, so she will counterattack. And that will be it, and everyone dies. Almost everyone. No. Hey, good strength for Nice strength. Good strength growth. I think Bios has gained zero strength the entirety of part two, actually. <laughs> Maybe like one, but yeah, that's pretty sad. Okay, rally up Shamir so she can kill that warrior. And then we're gonna have Leone go ahead and camp it. Good job. Doo -doo. So if is gonna go ahead and finish off this Swordmaster with the swift strikes. And then we auto battle. And this auto battle will just have Catherine kill off one unit and Shamir kill off the warrior. Um, and then that Storm Master will die on Leone during enemy phase, and we're done. So yeah. 
pretty fun map to execute, honestly. And I'm pretty, again, I'm pretty proud of the strat too. It showcases a lot of like what Leonie and Sylvain can do, even if it's just for a bit. So it strikes and etc. Fun, fun shenanigans. And using a longbow too. You don't see that every day. And this is the last paralogue in the game we have not done. And this is a defeat boss map, but we have to defeat a turtle. A giant turtle who has Miracle and Quick Repost on his last health bar. And if you don't know what Quick Repost does, what it does is if you are at 50% of your max HP or higher, you cannot get double attacked. What the game doesn't tell you is that you also always double attack back when you're at above 50% HP or higher. Because this game has very accurate descriptions of a lot of skills. And it, by that, I mean they don't. Um, so yeah, Quick Repost lets you never get doubled and always double attack anything back in enemy phase as long as you're at half HP or higher. And that's what this boss has. Only on the, health, only on the last health bar, though, thankfully. Um, he still has Miracle. So Miracle, again, is a luck percent chance to survive a lethal blow at 1 HP because good game design. And this is a monster, too. So we need a lot of firepower to just take, to take him out quickly. And he's pretty far and across a bunch of rivers, too. So we can't just like get a bunch of paladins up there or something. And that means flyers and warp. Fog of War, too. Fog of War with My only orders? two range vision is great game design, Let's clean I'll say. Up. Okay. Leon's gonna go up here, give us vision for you Byron Riders. Just set it and file to take him out, get him out of the way. What's my strategy? Back Heaven. Fun to watch. Catherine's I'll gonna go up. Them all. And then we unite. Okay. Like Cynthia's gonna go ahead and warp Catherine across. After that warp, we're gonna go spread everyone up again. Okay, Linhart's gonna warp Ignatz across. Ignatz is a rally bot and also a, a dancer. Ready when you are. gonna go here. Violet's gonna mount. Go up here. Sada's gonna mount and go here. Ignatz will rally him. And Zeta has a personal skill where you, female units next to him will get a plus oh, three attack buff, I think. I think it's plus three, maybe plus two. But basically, I'm going to position Zeta so that all of our other units who are all female will get a buff from him. So, Zeta's next. Brave Axe. Nice crit. Nice crit indeed. And down one. Byleth. Brave Lance. Get buffed by Zeta. Hey, she got strength. And then Catherine last will go up here, finish off this health bar. And now Quick Repost is active, so we can't double attack him. This boss will double attack everyone. And actually one rounds Catherine because it's magic damage and Catherine just res is bad. So Much needed. Try to whittle him down down whittle him down to half HP or lower. So Catherine can finish him off safely. Or we can just get a crit with Ingrid. I'm yeah, that works. Good job, Ingrid. <laughs> Good job, Ingrid. All right, and that is every paralogue in the game done. Now we just have the end game left. Two maps left. Yeah. Again, I think that the strat there is pretty cool. Showcase is kind of a double warp and a double dance. And you're also going to see another double warp soon, hence the split name, Double Step Warps. Step time. Um, we're gonna. De I'm gonna de deploy Sylvain and Linhardt on the bottom left corner. Byleth, Ignatz, and Lysithia on the bottom right corner. Lysithia and Linhardt obviously are just are there for warp. Um, Sylvain's there for a dance, and Byleth is there to carry. And Ignatz is there to rally up Byleth because she really needs it. Since there's a great knight that's really bulky that's blocking the way to the boss. And I don't even know if Byleth can kill him with a rally strength. We'll see. Because her strength is bad. 31 strength should be enough, I think. But still, we'll see. What's my 
my strategy. What's the plan? I'm awake. Unite. Okay, rally. Steady now. Thank you. Let's make this quick. Work. So just need four tiles. Great bow. Barely. Wow. 15 damage. Holy crap. End turn. Survive. There's... Okay. Open a door. Cancel back here. Linhart. Warp Sylvain across. Sylvain. Dance for Violet. And GG. One last map. So, okay. The last map in Silver Snow is kind of a pain. So the gimmick is that you have to fight the Immaculate One, which is a boss monster, but she heals herself fully every turn if you don't take out all the dragons in the area. We're gonna try to one turn it. But um, the first two attacks we deal will be in, um, canceled, basically. Because um, once you try to attack her twice, she powers up, and then you can actually deal damage to her. And then we have to finish her off after those two burned attacks. Well, is your mind made so, I'm gonna burn some two attacks with um, Lysithia and Ingrid at the start. Break a barrier with Monster Piercer, which one the only, and then just go in with everyone. And hopefully don't get miracled. Because yes, this boss has miracle too. And Vantage and Wrath. Vantage, Wrath, and Miracle. And Miracle with over 30 luck as well. So one third. Roughly a third of a chance to survive a hit at 1 HP. Thankfully, we have like really high crit rates and a bazillion attacks. So like it should ne realistically never really be an issue because we just have so many attacks to, do, to deal, to use. Blah. Talking is difficult. Let's focus. We're almost done. Almost done. Okay. Um, you, 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 you. Um, you have to go there. That's, that should be good. Fernand Von Iron is gonna, still going to do something in this map. Don't worry. I'm awake. Well done. Steady now. Lag. Oh my god. I just lost like three inputs there. I'm good, game. good game. Ready for any. He's gonna open a door for us. Hooray! Thanks. Okay. Ready when you are. Burn attack one. Cancel here. Stop! Let's make this quick. Burn another attack. Leave off! My orders? Okay. Um, Monster Piercer. Guide me Brave well. Axe. He got the first health bar. Move him one down so he can buff any more female units attacking from next to him. What's my strategy? Brave Lance. Hey, she got strength. Let's clean up. What's the plan? Thank you. I am not touching this ever again. <laughs> Seven hour runs are not for me. Seven hour runs are not for me. But this was fun. This was still fun. I had a lot of fun do prepping this and stuff. Ugh. Oh, that took a lot out of me though. Yeah. 
Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. Well, I'm sure a sub seven is possible if someone actually wanted to like actually grind this out and optimize it. But screw that. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> There's a lot of work I put into this, um, on and off, um, and I'm glad I got something that I'm ha relatively happy here, with overall. Mother. So, yeah. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna retire this permanently. This is way too much time to just try to keep up. And I kind of want to go back to the single route category. So, this was still a lot of fun though. Um, I'm glad I got to showcase a lot of the parallel, a lot of the cool paralog strats and stuff, and. I don't know. This was a really cool way to speedrun the game in a way that showcases the entire game. That's kind of why I made up this category in the first place. So, and this does an okay job of that too. Like, yeah, a lot of the masters cheesed, but that's the nature of speedruns in the first place. You gotta cheese them. Go fast. So, yeah. Raya's wild ramp.